five minutes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate you guys all being here this fine evening. We have a special guest playing with us tonight, the man, the myth, the legend. He needs no introduction, but we're going to introduce him. His name is Cobblepot. Cobble, hey, say everybody. hi. Tell us who you are. <clears throat> My name is Cobblepot, and I'm an old person who has been playing CEDH since the beginning. I'm old man puttering in the garage that is the CEDH metagame, always looking for new parts that can be harvested from, from one deck and moved to another and new things to do to see what we can change and have happen in the metagame as we move forward. Oh, cool. I like it. So yeah. thank you very much for joining us. In case you guys don't know, uh, Cobblepot is one of the lab maniacs. They are one of the grandfathers of CEDH, and we are forever grateful for that awesomeness that they brought to us. Um, right now, we're going to be playing some CEDH content tonight, so what we would like to do is go around the table and tell everyone what we are going to be playing tonight. And, Cobble, we'll go ahead and just start with you. Sure. Um, I'm going to be starting with Najila the Blade Blossom. Um, this is not a standard Najila tempo list, but this is actually a uh, an all-in ad nauseum list. It's almost uh, like a farm list, but for Najila. So it's kind of running in, in two different lanes. It's got the one lane that's your standard Najila packages and the other lane, which is the fast nause. And it has a, a lot of gear for pivoting back and forth between the two plans, depending on the, the circumstances that are happening at the table. Right on. That's awesome. Uh, so tonight I will be playing Kenrith the Returned King. This is a five color Hermit Druid list. I uh, brewed it up in the last two weeks, and I have really enjoyed it. Uh, Kindredith does everything that a Hermit Druid deck needs to do, will, like give haste and reanimate, and draw cards. So it should be a good time. I have a feeling, looking around at this pod, it's going to be wicked fast. So we might get quite a few games in. I will send it to Ryan. Ooh, that was the kiss of death, death right here. One long game, because you said that. Yeah, so. put the whammy right. on your Tonight deck. I'm going to be... Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be playing Yidris, Maelstrom Wielder. This is a storm list. It looks to storm off for the win, and it might have a couple other things in it too, but we'll have to see how the game goes tonight. So that is the main plan of Yidris. <clears throat> Surprises. Right. Oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Zach from Playing With Power, and tonight I'm going to be playing Kess Dissonant Mage. Uh, this deck, uh, its main game plan is a reanimation list also with thoughts oracle consultation lines as well and uh it's supposed to go go fast and harden the paint i dig it well sounds good let's let's pitter patter yep let's do it so zach you are going first good sir uh right. pre-game actions from anybody on the table nope thing for me nope all right none for me i did it i'll play a forbidden orchard and pass the turn Okay, I'm going to draw for my turn. And I'm going to play a Flooded Strand. And I'm going to crack that. You have successfully cracked Flooded Strand. Yes, I'm just thinking about my mana for a second here. Um, uh, massive Foot, we, we rolled dice to see who goes first. Hey man, I'll, I'll go and get a, a cool line that we played. <clears throat> Deathrite Shaman, and I will pass turn. What land did you grab again? Uncle Island. All right, cool. Uh, untap upkeep, draw for the turn. It's Carpet of Flowers is online. Uh, I'm gonna cast the Taxium Probe, paying two life, and I'm gonna target. Uh, I'm gonna. Target Zach with the taxing probe. Uh, right, no boys. actions for me. I'll put my head down. Yep, head down. Yeah. All right, Zach, let's see this then. No peeking, Cobble. I'm not looking. <laughs> looking away? All right. Yep. Ready for this, guys? Yep. Oh, oh, and chat, behave. Don't tell everyone what they have. Yeah, no cheating. Ha. 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 You kept that? <laughs> that makes you me feel a lot like better this? all of a sudden. <laughs> that is... Guys, he's got like a turn three smothering tie that's not that bad. 
Yeah. Um, in cast, that's pretty creative. It's very. Uh, he's got a, a turn five uh, smothering tide. That's yeah, sure. kind of crazy. Uh, ignore me taking a picture of your hand real quick. Uh, okay. okay. Yep, we're good. One I'm moment. All right, my hand is off the table. Yep. All I'm right. Drawn, I've drawn the card <clears throat> off of the taxi and probe. Thanks, um, I thought you would have, like approve of this hand. So it's. Uh, it's everything you wanted more with one extra of one type of card. That doesn't... Yeah, That's wow. how all of magic works, I guess. But that's really nice. specific. I, yep, yeah. those, those uh, words. Uh, I'm going to play a Windswept Teeth. I'm going to fetch Shock a Breeding Pool. Okay. And I'm going to cast Mr. Primora. Oh, oh. Um, I will... I'll pass priority on Mystic or more and hope you guys can stop it for us. I haven't gone yet, so... <laughs> That's bold, Folger. I do know what's in your hand, but this is what I got, dude. So, right. this is mainly here to uh, stop Idris. You don't have to. Uh, Folger, I'm going to give you a 1-1 one, one spirit and cast Swan Song. Targeting Mr. Grimora. Oh, dude, man. joke's on you. I got three power on turn one, boys. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> he gets yeah, a fish that. and a spirit. I mean, I'm sorry, not a fish. But a, <laughs> a bird that flies and a spirit that doesn't. <clears throat> it has float. Yep. It's like flying. It's but worse. Fl oh, float. It's flying, but worse. All right, uh, let's <laughs> see. Uh, so I have a swan, and this will be a 1 1 spirit. You grab dice. Right It'll be Katie. Wow. You know, we told Chet nicely to not talk about his hand, and everybody's talking about the cards. I mean, You'll have that. Yeah, that, that's, that's what Chad. That's what Chad do though. Black Lotus, three of clubs, reverse <laughs> um, Uno card. You guys, you need to call. <laughs> so after the Remora gets countered, I will pass the turn. All right, I'm going to move to my turn. Untap, upkeep, and that's strictly worse, but that's okay. I'm going to play a command tower for turn and attempt to cast a line and. The Cool. Glad that resolves. <laughs> and uh, if that resolves, I'll pass the turn. Pact of negation. <laughs> it's on principle. On principle. Alright, I will draw. I will pass the turn. Oh. oh, it was one of those Ow. hands. Yeah, gotcha. So, remember what I said, one extra of one type of card? Can you guess what type of card that was? Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I'm going to draw for turn. Let's play a Savannah. I'll try to cast a Mystic Remora of my own. Pass priority. Attempt to cast Red Elemental Blast to target Mystic Remora. Where does that? I'm assuming he passes on Blast. Okay. Good. I'm sorry, guys. No, you're good. Uh, Kyle you go? casted Remora, <laughs> and then I passed priority. Ryan cast Blast to counter Remora, and then stab yep. clear. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. We will cast a Fiend Artisan. Ooh, uh, like what are you exiling? Love that card. I am going to be exiling the Windswept Heath that is in Folger's Graveyard. Yep. Thank you. It is gone. Okay. Fiend Resolves. Fiend Artisan. Yep, it's the uh, X... Um, sacrifice birthing pod on a creature. It's a birthing pod on a creature, but doesn't need to follow yeah. any rules. Yep. Passing turn after that. I will okay. untap, upkeep, and draw for the turn. Did you find it, Zach? I did. Okay. Thank you. I okay. will hmm, shock a stomping ground into play. Bzz. I will <laughs> cast a soul ring. Now with now with sound effects here, playing with our live stream. <laughs> That's priority on Soul Ring. That's priority. <clears throat> Only the best sound effects. 
<laughs> Only the highest quality production here, playing with power. <laughs> um, after that, I will swing a 2-2 in the air at Cobble. Oh, taking it. Yeah. I would like there. to pass the turn. Okay, move to my turn. All right. I'm going to play a land for turn. It's going to be a bad land. Z. Um... I am going to cast a cat two. I'm going to cast a talisman of creativity. It's good. Right. Creative play. Uh, yeah, I like that. All right, if that resolves, I'll pass. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'm going to cast mystical tutor, giving Ryan a one one. Thanks, buddy. Group hug. You're welcome. <laughs> It has float. Yep. Okay. That resolve? No response for me. No response. It resolves. Cool. All right. Well, while he's searching, quick uh, thing in the chat. K Kumatha? Yeah. Kuma the bear? Kuma the bear there says, don't go. play bad lands, play good lands. Boy, I really struggled with that name. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You taking lessons Coom from Garrett? Coom that was a clever pun. Yeah, I sure am. See, that's what happens when you when you drink heavily right before the stream. It's, it's, actually, it's actually pronounced Kumat <laughs> He Bear. <laughs> oh, <duh>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, this is what happens. Oh, and uh, congratulations to Mike on his Cavern of Souls. That's super cool. That's awesome. And and yes, absolutely. Uh, you need to counter as many fishes as you can. Fish against uh, yeah. a spell slinger deck. Bad news. Can confirm. I'm gonna grab an entomb. Wow. Tutor for a tutor. Gotta love it. Right. Didn't see that coming. That means he's got two reanimation spells. Uh, he has, I believe, one in hand. But he does not have two mana. So. That also seems true. Uh, potentially. I would put I mean, money on you're, it. That's going to you're the about top to draw your, your library. Library. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. With the knowledge I mean, of your hand. So I if you have, a, man, if you have a mana, I'd be I'd be very impressed, Zach. I'm going to draw on two. <laughs> yep. Sure. <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> I really hope I didn't have to use my mana on turn one to counter a stupid fish. Oh. Didn't have hey. to. We're all, you know, things are tough all over, okay? We're all making sacrifices. That's true. Just, you could have just casted your tutor in response, Zach. Pandemic. Yeah, but then but then the fish... That's was right, pandemic. I have to continue to feed the fish. That sounds bad. Nah, dude. Are you are passing, Zach? What's that? You say you are passing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Untap. Let's draw for turn. Play a Marsh Flats. A crack of Marsh Flats. Uh, what's the sound effect for cracking a Marsh Flat, Zach? <laughs> what it sounds like. <laughs> what, what, what's that? What just... who's, got a, who's got a didgeridoo in their pocket? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, who, who brought out the didgeridoo in the middle no. of the stream? We forgot. Was, and why is that the sound of a cracking of a fetch land? Because everyone's excited about Badlands, I guess I have to go with them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> See, so alongside no swearing on stream. Uh, no tube throat singing. Yeah, no, no throat singing. That's a didgeridoo. <laughs> didgeridoo. <laughs> oh my. But what if you're a minotaur? Oh. Save that for the casual <clears throat> so table. Oh my! <laughs> this here, air. These three things. Okay, every time someone cracks a fetch, now you have to didgeridoo on stream. Yeah, Can we I have pass to now. The so the Jila? I will pass Jila. priority on the Jila. I will pass priority on the Jila. You have a Jila. Wait, I'm gonna pass turn. 
I have no in-step actions that I'm aware of. I will untap, upkeep, and draw for the turn. It's really bad for me. Uh, Tino, if I did a, a Kraken noise, everyone would go insane, so I don't want to do that. Now I absolutely have to put a Kraken in, into the next game somehow. <laughs> yeah, um, I will... There's an Ajila. Yeah, I'm not going to actually swing anymore. I'm just going to pass the turn. I, I have okay. a friend who taught his daughter how to, how to make a Kraken noise. Or, sorry, a Cthulhu noise. <laughs> I don't even know what that has. How does that even sound? you got to tell us now. It's the sound of your mind descending into madness. Ah, oh, okay. What does that sound like? <laughs> uh, yeah. no. Well, for me, it sounds like me <clears throat> checking out my TCG player cart. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, got wrong, a gemstone not caverns wrong. as a land for turn. Very nice. Uh, I am going to do. I want to do that. I might want to do that. Uh, I'm going to cast a. Maybe. Maybe that. Maybe not. The sound of madness. Right, let's, 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 let's see. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to cast a Talisman of Indulgence. Yes. Response from me. Yep, yeah, very good. Cool. Coolest of beans. I'm going to attempt to cast a Mikramora. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Zach, you have priority on this Mikramora. Why is everyone drawing the Remora in this game? This is. Ridiculous. All right. Uh, Come on, man. The threeest give, of fishes. Gonna give Ryan a spirit, and I'm going to cast Untune. Ooh, spicy. <clears throat> I do not have a response to that. I have no responses to Untune. Same here. Go fetch your card to your graveyard. All right. I'm gonna get a a dummy thick creature. <laughs> I'm assuming it's my boy Jenga Taxes. Uh, Jin is only a 5-4. I mean, yeah, but he dummy thick, though. Yeah, there's thicker creatures. I've had not thicker. Better. Wow, okay, Adam, don't <laughs> use that. Uh, like, I don't oh. get I'm uncomfortable. Back. Hold on, guys. <laughs> guys. Can we please <laughs> never have Adam do that voice ever again around me? <laughs> ever. Thank you. <clears throat> Would you rather me do the ASMR? Yeah. <laughs> really? That is interesting. I don't think Jinka Texas is particularly good with an onboard Najila and a uh, birthing pod creature. I think birthing Yeah, that's almost yeah, that's really that's just given. I don't want I don't want to get rid of my travel. opponents like <clears throat> into it. Uh okay, Mystic Remora on the stack. Uh I pass priority on Mystic Remora. Still passing priority. I will also pass priority on Remora. My fish stuck for now. Anyway, I'll pass the turn after that. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Shock. Got there. In a watery grave that I had the whole time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sandbagging us, folks. Sandbagging us. Biggest to bring. For a spicy moment. Gonna tap for a Zach. Zach, I'm going to ask that you not for like 10 different reasons. What? Please don't do what you're about to do. Why? It's bad in like every way. <laughs> give, me an answer. give me a reason. Uh, okay, you're playing into fish. You're playing into Gilded Drake. There's two. Uh, I'm going to cast reanimate targeting as a whole. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Mystic Remora trigger. Uh, pass I'm going to, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to draw a card. Without Garrett here, I thought that I would avoid this tonight. But guess not, Zach. No, Goodness, I'm not, Zach. I'm not going to not do the thing that my deck wants to do. All right? <laughs> We're here to, I'm here to play a game. All right, dude. Let's play. see it. Uh, Cobble, you got priority on reanimate. Um, I am... I'm going to exile uh, Marsh Flats. And I'm going to cast a Worldly Tutor. Mystic or more trigger. Can have it. 
Guys, I didn't right. nature's claim it because I thought people would play into it. Why? <laughs> Told you, you should deal with your problems yourself. Oh. <laughs> They're not my problems, uh, I promise, dude. Ah. Uh. Reanimate is on the stack targeting, targeting Nezahal. Technically, Find Worldly them. Tutor is. Worldly yeah. Tutor is. I pass on Worldly Tutor after the remark. I'll pass on Worldly Tutor. Tutor. Yeah, I, I pass on <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, Kimmy the Bear says claim it now so it doesn't get worse. <laughs> I assumed I could in step claim it, but guess not. But wow. I mean, if everyone else is going to feed it between now and then. Yep, that is correct. <clears throat> um wow gilda drake okay. to the top of the live wire <laughs> fish did nothing wrong <laughs> Maybe it's because my mat's covered. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, don't feed the fish. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. Wrong. Yeah. Oh, uh, see, we were reading it wrong the entire time. That we was... were. I had the don't covered. That's my bad, guys. That's, that's completely enough. See, okay, we got to start the game see, over. See, we, we blame you. We blame you here. But yeah, go to Drake was the thing to the top. Okay. Yep. Uh, Reanimate's back in the stack. Fish that's don't true. kill people. Right. People kill people. I will yeah, pass awesome. priority on reanimate. Uh, it resolves. All right, I will get a nezzle hole and lose seven life. Get there. Oops. There we go. Um, one, two, seven, nine. Okay. After that, I will pass the turn. Hey. Just. I'm gonna untap. Draw for turn. I have no idea what he drew, folks. It's anybody's guess. It could even be a boat. <clears throat> Freshwater craft. <laughs> uh, see, now Nezahal, isn't he just a giant fish, too? He's so everyone's gotten a fish this game. Yeah, but he's not isn't a, fish. He a fish. No, he's an elder it's dinosaur. An elder dinosaur, but fish is fine. Yes, I am I mean, casting a Gilded Drake. Pass oh. priority on Gilda Drake. Uh, there's no Mr. More trigger for a creature. True. I will. I will pass priority on the old Gilda Drake as well. Back. I'm thinking. Hope I do. Is that basically a big fish? No, it was. He was swimming. Like you could see, you could see his body up there. He's he he. I mean, like he's about as fishy as fishy. He's, look, well, it he's, says he's old dinosaur. There's this, he, he now, almost looks on. like he's a turtle. First body. of all, that's extremely ageist to say old. The term is elder. They prefer to be called elder dinosaur. Oh, really, elder on the card. Okay, elder. Wise, 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 learned man, or wise, learned dinosaurs. Would it make you feel better if it dinosaur? said boomer dinosaur? <laughs> yes. <laughs> boomer dinosaur. I think that I think everyone would have to play Nezzle Hall if his if he was a boomer dinosaur. <laughs> I think that's old right, fogey. I, I'm going to pass priority on Gilded Drake. Okay. Resolves, trigger on stack. Drake enters the battlefield to trigger targeting Nezzle Hall. I am shocked. Pass priority. <clears throat> Pass priority. Okay, I'm going to activate Nezahal's ability, discarding three cards. Which are which three cards? Uh, Drown on the Lock, Vampiric Tutor, and Necromancy. Uh, let me just do a little look-see at my photo real quick to make sure I am doing what I think I'm doing. Cards in hand, Zach. Two. Boomer tribal. I love it. <laughs> there's just a bunch of elder dragons. Okay. They're actually just a bunch of elder dragons. It's interesting. Um, oh, there's also so uh, activation of Nezahal on the stack. Wait, and I passed on that activation. Yeah, I will pass on the activation of Nezahal. Uh, pass on the activation. Okay. 
goes away. Will the Drake dies? Mm, yes, no. does. Why does the Drake yes. die? Yeah, if they, they have to be really when it resolves. Can't yeah. exchange. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. die. It just stays on your field. It does. It does. No, it, no. no, it dies. It says it, it sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, it's it sacrifices. Okay. Yes. Here, uh, why don't we call a judge and make sure? Yeah, yeah he's uh, not. Oh, oh so wait. Judge? He's real busy right now. <laughs> hmm. And, uh, Zach, I am going to attack you. Or one, two, three, four, five, and six. I declare no blocks. Okay. Six damage coming to you. And I will pass my turn. Uh, have... Yeah, there's the bezel. And there's tapped. Uh, true. Huh. I have no in-step actions, so... Move to your turn. Draw. You know, in all my games where there was a Gilded Drake, it's nev that's never happened. Where so I just feel like the target wasn't legal. Yeah. Really? <clears throat> uh, that, okay. Uh, I will play a Morphic Pool, which will come into play untapped because I have multiple opponents. Yay, Matt. Yay. Those are such good lands. I'm glad they yeah, really are. Really are. So I was going to say, yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to buy so the, the other, at least the other Sultai ones when they come out. This is awkward. I'm I'm unfortunately do not have a white source right now. Oh no! I feel so bad for you. But me and I, <laughs> get a Sitting over there with his forbidden orchard. Uh. <laughs> I got two lanes. Leave me alone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to swing for three at Zach. Okay, no blocks. I will pass the turn. Okay, anything on the end step before I go? Not I got a more of. All right, untap. Uh, Mr. Grimoire trigger. Yep. I'm going to mm -hmm. put age counter on, and I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to move to draw. People are saying that Morphon should be the, uh, the commander for the boomer deck because it's technically an elder. That is true. I dig it. I'm going to play Polluted Delta. Uh, I will crack it for an Underground C. That's your cue. Do the didgeridoo. Where's the sound effect? Am I allowed to do it? I, you guys made such a hysterical response to it before. I thought I couldn't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Optimus oh. Prime is the <laughs> Optimus Prime wants to know your location. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Love it. You know, I, I never knew that you could imitate a didgeridoo. <laughs> See, just, well, we live in we, we live strange times, Adam. It, yeah, it Quarantine can't believe it's never come up. I know. Quarantine must have been a hell of a drug for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, headphone users. It just makes me respect you that much more, Cobblepot. You're the you're the jank brew of your team, and you just do weird things. I don't feel alone anymore. Is this a I'll take two damage of each of my talismans, and I'm going uh, to I don't to think you can, Don't think that produces green. What? So out of what you tapped, I don't think any of those produce green. Let me double check. You might be right there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll tap the command tower instead. Yep. And I still take the two damage total, though. That yes. Change. Uh, your underground C is untapped, though. Yep. Thank you. I have Yidris on the stack. <clears throat> I pass priority on Yidris. I also pass priority on Yidris. I also pass priority on Yidris. Coolest of beans. Uh, Yidris resolves and Ryan will pass. All right. On tap, upkeep, draw. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to play a Morphic Pool and then pass the turn. Mm. Uh, Hyper Sloth in chat also passes priority, so you're good. Thank you, Hyper Sloth. We appreciate it. Uh, it's your turn, Couple Pot. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Draw for turn. I know my mic didn't like register. Register my voice. Do you have attenuation on in Discord, Zach? What? I heard him. Land for turn. Well, yeah, but when other people talk, it like quiets his mic. It's really strange. Gotcha. I don't know. It works, so I don't mess with the settings. <laughs> okay. I'm going to crack this one, Swept Heath. Do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. What's that as an Agila activation? <laughs> oh, uh, collective crime Probably a heavy opponents. sigh. Let's <laughs> yeah, say a heavy sigh from your opponents. Yeah. Heavy sigh. <clears throat> By you. <laughs> Bye, you. No, you. Right. No, you. <clears throat> well, I was going to buy you a gift, but... Nah. Oh! It's full of them. It's full of something. Oh, that was, right. that was horrible. <laughs> now, okay. now we can mute Zach. Now we can mute Zach. <clears throat> you know, we should have said the same thing about Garrett when he says... A single one of the Yora Blank jokes. All right, so you cracked your windswept teeth for a bayou. Cool. Did. And I'm going to um, exile that windswept heath. These three lands here. I'm going to activate the fiend artisan sacrificing death right shaman. <clears throat> You just click on the cards. I know it's yeah. great. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll pass priority. Uh, what? CMC of what for three. the fiend artisan? By the way, three. Well, no, he, he put three mana into it, right? Because it's what that three plus a hybrid. He said uh, yes. The death rich shaman. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm saying you're grabbing a three drop, right? Yes. Yeah, X is equal yeah, to three. It's X or, X or less. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I will pass priority on the activation. Pass priority on the activation. Pass priority. Okay. Am. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Derevi. Yes, it is. Really? Yeah. Well, that <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Weird. Uh, she enters the battlefield. So. Trigger. Let green. Cobble, please do it. Please do it. Tap down the nuzzle hall. Get them. <laughs> so you don't have any creatures, right, Folger? Uh, Your creatures know, I have, will I'm, I'm fresh yes. out of creatures. Yeah. Yeah, he has two tap ones. So I'm actually going to um, I'm going to untap the fiend artisan. Yep, I see. Okay. I'm going to move to combat. Um, um you, are so, you a mana off for fetching your Derevi? Because you had to put a color into it and X. No, he activated Death Rite for a mana. Yes, I activated yeah, Death Rite Shaman right beforehand and then sacrificed so, the yes. Death Rite You're going you to combat, absolutely right. right? Say again? You're going to combat, correct? Yes, I'm going to combat. Um, just trying uh, to decide whether I'm going to have the Fiend Artisan attack as well. It's. Four. Uh, do you have Wooberg in your mana base right now? I do. Um, okay. Let's see. Are you. Ryan, you have one mana, so, correct? Hold on, Folger. Is this before or after attackers are declared? Well, this I think... is beginning of combat before attackers are declared. 
All right, so your stuff's untapped. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> I don't know if I can really do anything about this. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, sure. I pass priority on, uh, moving to attackers. Yeah, same here. Back. Uh, pass. Pass priority. So, these four attackers come towards Folger. Okay, so before I declare blocks, would someone like to do something, please and thank you? Uh, Folger, you're first to act? Yeah, I pass priority then. Zach? I'll Come pass on, priority. Folger, at least, like, let me remember it. Alright. I'm gonna give you a 1-1 one -one spirit. And produce <laughs> <laughs> What man are you producing again? Blue. Thank you. Color of the sky. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so Black. before you move to blockers, are you going to use that mana? Huh? No. Are you going to use the mana before oh. I declare blocks? Yeah, okay. I, I will declare a block on a 1-1 one -one with my 1-1. One -one you spirit. are getting a block on a 1-1. One -one. I should have attacked with the Fiend Artisan. You should have. Yes. <clears throat> Day is uh, long. And then I will, yeah, I will take 5. Mm -hmm. Go to 28. And I will um, tap these three. I don't have another combat to go to. Mm. And I'm going to... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pass turn. Okay, at your end step, I would like to cast Nature's Flame targeting Mr. Cremora. Mystic Remora trigger. I paid for it. Trigger. And you're I... paying for it? Yeah. And uh, Nezzle Hall, you get to draw. Okay. All right. Uh, I have no response to the Nezzle Hall resolves. Uh, yep. You paid for Mystic Remora. Nature's yep. Claim back on the stack. I will pass priority on Nature's Claim. I uh, pass priority. Passing priority as well. All right. Ryan, you gain four. I gain life. Yeah. All right. I will untap, upkeep, and draw for the turn. I will play Yavamaya Coast as my land for the turn. Still no white mana. I know. Not there yet. Yeah, it is definitely a bummer. I'm Wait, going to... Me? I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Ryan, how many cards do you have in hand? Four? Okay. For uh, floating a colorless, I would like to cast a Monic Tutor. There's a Hall Trigger. Yep, have it. Draw. I passed first already on Demonic Tutor. Okay. Uh, uh, is this going to be an Impulse? I, I passed priority. Am I about to get Impulse? What? Uh, for me. You're up, Cobble. I passed my priority. Okay. Oh, I, I thought oh. he said I have a response. Okay. I thought oh, he I'm said sorry. he had a response, yeah. Yeah. Uh, D2 to resolves. I will grab a card. While he is searching... Uh, um... What is what is what does everyone think he's gonna get? Everyone thinks he's you're probably gonna get Thrasios Soldier. Are you really gonna prove um, them wrong? I will not grab a Thrasios. As much as, like. as, much as I would it. like to. It's probably a <laughs> if I had to if I had to bet money on it. I would guess he's gonna grab a basic planes. This guy. 
That is a big brain speculation. <clears throat> Feels bad when you have the demonic tutor for land. I basic planes. Hmm. <laughs> and he already plays land for turn two. Even yeah. worse. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. Idiot. We should call in Garrett. He's really good at saying that. He is. We should idiot. just have him on commentary. <laughs> call it commentary. We should we should just make a soundboard of everybody's like sayings. <laughs> yeah, we should. And first thing would be on there would be the dirige Didgery don't or whatever <laughs> for every crack. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I think it's probably got to be tradition at this point. I got to grab this card. I'll put a card into my hand. Oh, that tradition. I see. Yeah. Um, with my floating and one, I'd like to cast Field of Drake. That's tradition. It's true. That's that's what's happening. Okay. I'll pass priority on Gilded. Uh, I'm gonna cast Force of Will, pitching Windfall. Losing life. Why, buddy? Why? Tell me why. Because you should have got nothing but problem effect. Nah, I got something better. All right, we get on the Force of Will countering my Drake. I'm assuming. Seems true. You assumed correctly. Cards in hand, Zach. Two. Okay, um, I'd like to pay two life and two mana to cast Postmortem Lunge. Uh, what does that do? I think I got uh, Spell Table because I gotta look it up. All right, return target creature card with CMC X or less from your graveyard, which is two. It gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step. I'd like to target Guild the Drake. All right, Nuzzle, I'll trigger. Draw. Okay. Ryan? Pass priority. Oh, pass priority. I'm passing priority as well. All right, so Lunge will resolve. Gilda Drake will enter. I would like to... Uh, cards in hand, Zach. Magic number three. I know one of them. Why would you not take Najila, though? You're threatening to win. Yeah, I mean... I was going to the first time, but then yeah, you, you done found it. Make you burn more resources? Hmm. Moving on. What's your target? That's I got three really good targets. I'll be right back. Uh, what's Fiend Artisan's butt? Right now? Uh, so it's a 1-1, one, one, but it depends on how many creatures you have in your graveyard. So for me right now, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Uh, then I'd like to target Najila. I'll pass priority on target declared ability. Pass. Pass. Pass priority. Pass priority. All right. I would Exchange like Najila. Happens. And I momentarily get Gilded Drake. You momentarily have a Gilded Drake. She is tapped. Yes. Yeah. Um... Don't actually own a Najila. The, the one with the three is the Najila. So I wonder if I have something that would represent a Najila better. Hmm. Be like a generic warrior? Hmm. Let's see here. Nathan Jones asks if Cobble is trying to win off of Fiend Artisan. Possible. Maybe not directly off of Fiend Artisan, but it might be happening. Kind of by getting Derevi. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess this this tap then here is my Najila. That'll that'll have to do for now. Um, okay. I'd like to pass the turn. Okay. Any in step action after many? Well, at my at my end step, this guild, the, the guild of Drake that's on Cobblesidal Exile. Yep. Right. Mm hmm. Any other in step actions before I move to my turn? No. Not for me. Okay. You're good. Just making sure. Untap. No upkeep triggers that I see. I will draw. <clears throat> Revy is a 3-3 three, three burb. 2-3, three, but yes. 2-3 burb. 
three. Yeah, um, stratagem. How big is, uh, how thick is Fiend Artisan right now? Three, three. Hmm, he's thick. Uh, move to combat. Yep. Okay. Any sure. actions? Because I'm going to declare attackers. Uh, no action. Cat removal. Folder. Yidris coming at you for five. Trample. Uh, Zach, you have priority. That's priority. I see priority for me. I have no blocks. I will take five. Okay. I go to 23. You have a Yidris trigger slash the rest of the turn time. Yep. Cool list of beans. All right. So, second main phase. Uh, yeah. Attempt to cast a Felwar Stone. Cascade trigger. trigger. Any responses? All right, cool. None for me. Er, uh, what? I mean, uh, Nez Hall trigger on Felwar Stone. But yeah, no response. Okay, we haven't. Moved it's fine. Past Nothing it. else is. Yeah, have, we haven't moved past. It's fine. It, it okay. resolves. No response from me. Yeah, I was, I was reading chat okay. and I'm just like, uh, you do your thing, like. <laughs> Imperial seal. I, pretty sure I'll take that. So. Would you like to cast Imperial seal? Yes, I would like to cast Imperial seal for free. That's a whole trigger. Uh, no response. Random order. All right. So. I mean, your deck's going to be right. shuffled in. Anyway. It's cast. Yeah. No, just sure. All right. right. So, Imperial Seal on the stack. I pass right. priority. Draw it. Pass priority. Casting priority. Card. I'm pretty sure that's. Cool. Let me double check. So many options. There are. There are a lot of really good options. Yeah, it's hard to play around as a whole. I mean, yeah. you, you just cards you, in everyone's you, hand. Di agree to disagree. I have five. I got <laughs> Thanks, Holger. I have three. Holger, I feel like you disagree with like almost everything I say about the game. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to play a land. I disagree with that. Yeah, <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, you should, yeah, you should no. have played a planes, idiot. <laughs> I, need to, I need to step away for just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> no problem. All right, and I will lose two life as part of Imperial Seal. Felwar Stone back on the stack. I have yep. Felwar Stone. Cool. Felwar Stone resolved. Would you like to cast two cards? One of which I'm sure you will. I, I hope you sealed for the card I want you to do it. I'm actually doing a different, a slightly different thing. Oh. I'm doing something slightly different. So. Uh, we could do okay. AMA time while we're waiting for Cobblepot. Um, oh, sure, we can do that. We haven't had a lot of questions that needed uh, immediate answering, so that's good. Someone's excited about seeing Nezahal. Yeah. Nezahal's great. Yeah. Elder Giants. Okay, so Tazri can't get uh, Nezahal. I'm trying to find like a fun deck to build the new Tazri into. What do you mean? Like, play casual and just get infinite mana and get, like, a bunch of bad creatures that fit the party mechanic. So, I mean, if you have infinite mana and you're in casual, you're winning the game. 
so. I mean, probably. But it's going to be like a... It's probably going to be a Primal Surge deck, in all honesty. Oh, are you talking about building a Tazri deck as well? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, casual Tazri. Just have creatures that fit the creature type, but aren't necessarily Oh, yeah. Good. I mean, yeah. Um, ooh, we actually got a couple of good questions. Any plan to make more introduction to CDH kind of videos? Uh, actually, we have literally three different uh, of those continuations in the work. Three yeah. separate continuations of that. Ironically enough, Bubble okay. is one of the people <laughs> we're collaborating with uh, on the next one of those. Um, so we already did the introduction to CEDH series. Uh, those of you who are out there who haven't seen it, I highly suggest you check it out. Um, and we're doing continuations of that. So it's not just more introduction. It's like kind of going into the next levels of it, kind of doing a stepwise approach to each progression of CDH. Uh, we're doing one that's on uh, better deck building, uh, better threat assessment and pattern recognition. Um, we're doing uh, we're doing a more advanced uh, deck identification model. It's a really cool concept that we're putting together. And then we're going to do some more advanced strategy stuff, things like uh, play patterns, heuristics, and more advanced uh, identification strategies, play strategies, politics strategies. And so all that is in the works. We have multiple collaborators we're working with for that. We're really, really excited Hello. to bring it all out, but we want to take our time with it, make sure we're doing it right. Um, but yeah, so that's the long-winded answer to that question. So. What was the question? I just got back. Uh, uh, so basically, while we were waiting for you, uh, there was a question about um, uh, if we're going to be doing any more intro to CH type series, and I was like, oh, isn't that ironic? <laughs> yes. So, uh, but basically, uh, because like I said, one of the things, one of the people we are collaborating, correct, collaborating with, uh, on that is Cobble. So, uh, Cobble, do you want to say a couple of quick sentences about what we're doing there? It's okay to give them a preview since they're live streaming with us. So, um, what we're doing is, is kind of, uh, breaking down the, the core of how to evaluate cards, um, how to evaluate a, if something is, I don't want to say words like viable or playable or anything like that, but looking at what makes CEDH work, the fundamental kind of forces that are at play, and understanding why the things that are good are good, and being able to use that information for understanding why certain cards are good, why certain combos are good, why certain decks are good, and so on. And then using that to apply to deck building and also using that to apply to threat assessment. If you can understand why certain things are good and why they um, are the things that people choose to run in CDH, then you can better understand what it is that people are going to be trying to do against you and you can improve your play when you're playing against others. Yeah. Nice. Really looking forward to the series. Really cool stuff coming. Can't wait for it. Okay. Um, let's. Yep. Let's continue. All right. So I'm going for the spicy line here. So if I end up losing, I won't feel bad because it was a spicy line. I have I have oh. no regrets. <laughs> got it. I have no regrets oh. about about my spicy line. So. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attempt to cast Necropotence. Uh oh, there's a hall, and I have a cascade trigger as well. There's a hall should resolve first. It should. Yes. Draw. Okay. Uh, cascade trigger. Any responses? Uh, no priority on that. Nothing for me. Okay. I'm gonna breach. attempt to reveal a lotus bloom. No, it's not breach. Ooh. All right. Like I said. I'm going with the more spicy brew here. I'm doing the more spicy line here. So if I don't get there, I'll still felt good because of Castle Lotus Bloom. So Ryan, I have an I have an honest question. Yes. Is it did you somehow build a shimmer Yidris? Maybe. Is that what, the only way true, you'd be able to make spicy work in this context? <laughs> so uh, okay. so Lotus Bloom cast. You cast Lotus Bloom and there's, there's a whole trigger. Swans. I'll draw. All right, I'm, gu I'm guessing Lotus Bloom resolves, or do we have an interaction? Oh, nope, I passed priority on it. All right. I'm passing priority as well. As All right, Necropotence, back on the stack. Any responses? 
this is the thing to interact with, Zach. Uh, I passed priority <laughs> on that. I'm passing priority as well. This is the thing to interact with Cobble. Pack. As will I. <laughs> Cobble. <laughs> Alright, resolves. Okay. I'm going yeah. to crack my bloom for three blue. Zach, cards in hand? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm attempt to cast Windfall. You just trigger. Uh, Nuzzle Hall trigger. I do not, I have no response to Nuzzle Hall. All right, draw. eight cards in hand? Eight cards in hand, yes. All right, Cascade trigger. Pass priority. Passing priority. Okay. Noxious Revival. Hmm. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, I will... I'll, I'll cast that without paying its mana cost. Target. No. Um, Imper I'm going to put... Uh, Nether Hall trigger. I have no response. Uh, well, well, target declared is Imperial Seal. Okay. I'll draw. Uh, I pass priority on Noxious Revival. I'm also passing priority on not just revival. Revival resolves. And seal back on top of the library. Windfall. Uh, cards in hand, Ryan. Two. Two cards in hand. Okay. I going to pay a blue and cast Fluster Storm. Storm count enough, by the way. It, uh, a lot. I. I hate you forever. <laughs> what, man? That was extreme. <laughs> was it? Was that? Was that too much? Was that too extreme? Was that, okay. Driving to your house and going to murder your family. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, storm count is enough. I have, have no response. So, oh, I'm a sad panda. All right. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, let's see what damage is. On the board right now. Don't want to die through Necro. Nezahal is seven. Uh, I'll pay. I'm gonna activate Necropotence. Uh, hold priority. Do it in another twenty times for a total of twenty cards total. Is what I'm doing. Okay. Everyone good with that? Sure. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I see my camera has died. So. I will yeah. fix it here in a second. Buster Storm was so cold, it froze your screen. You got the shivers. That's right. Cold in here. Uh-oh. Back in. 20 cards. Uh, I will pay 20 life. All right. Exiled. And I'm going to attempt to move to instep. Pass priority. Put the cards in hand. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put the cards in my hand. Anybody have any instep actions before priority. I move to discard? Yeah. yeah, I don't I don't always whoop, but when I do, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's good. That's spicy. I like that too. That I like that. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's good. I told that joke to my brother last night, and then he threatened to ban me from his Discord server. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. Rightfully so. <laughs> Rightfully so. Okay, so that seems doable. Seems like a doable setup. <laughs> danger, danger. Well, Robinson. This instead of that one? Let me double check. Yeah. Ooh, so while he's thinking about a seven, um, yep. Magic Paul says he's trying to invest in a budget commander deck. What was thinking of either Tassiger or Brawlin and Shabraz? Can you recommend either? I don't have... I don't see I either think, much. Well, for budget, Tasker is very easy to do. Yes. You can yeah. build You can build Tasker with like $50. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. yeah, you can do like um, dramatic scepter lines as well. Mm -hmm. Very cheap. Or you you could even do like a spicier one, like Poly Tyrant. Yes. Or yeah. actually, I don't know if you can. What what's the cheapest fast mana piece? I think even that's more than fifty. Cheapest fast mana piece? They're all uh, bugs, right? I mean, if you I mean, count Soul Ring, Amber and Soul. Well, yeah, you'd have to do. You'd have to have Soul Ring then. Amber's still even like thirty or forty. I think Mox Amber's like twenty to thirty, yeah. So, or maybe not Poly Tyrant because you need fast mana for that. I mean, yeah, you don't I'm need it. Mox Amber I shot. mean, yeah, you do. How else do you go infinite? Oh, Mox Amber's. Oh, it's less than twenty. I remember seeing oh. it on the on the oh. shelf at the store for like thirty dollars. Oh. Maybe oh. I'm trying to trying to get somebody. Perhaps. All right. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to end up being. That's not bad. Maybe do that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Radio. All right. Uh, move to discard. Um, yeah. Does, uh, I'm discarding a bunch of lands. Does anybody want to know what else I'm discarding? Yes. Please um, Toxic yeah. Deluge, Mystical Tutor, Dark Ritual, Gamble, Yog Will, Preordain, Time Twister, Tainted Pack, Birds of Paradise, Peer into the Abyss, and Wheel of Fortune. Into exile. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it makes makes you wonder what the hand I kept was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Cards, I'm assuming. Alright, so that's discard, so. Alright, move to my turn. Untap up, keep a draw. I'm gonna start off by. Hmm. How many cards in your hand, Folger? Three. Three? Alright. I'm gonna pay two life into Taxi and Pro Brian. Oh, man! <laughs> Of course that's going to happen. I mean, anybody want to, like, maybe not deflecting even a, swat not, that? Not, or... not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, chat, you guys need to behave. So you got to behave about the spicy line I've got. All right, ready? Hold your Zach. Please look away. Look away. look away. Here we go. Try to avoid the glare. Okay. Would you like to look at any of them again? Uh, I saw them all and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Pro Brazos, I'll draw a card. Uh, yep, you guys can, uh, heads up. Yep. So chat wants to know why you have a Black Lotus, a three of clubs, and Digimon cards. Uh, that's because we're playing no ban list tonight. I'm sorry if we did not actually declare that in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Um, I was really thinking about keeping Horn of Greed, but it just, you know, there was just so many good cards. It was hard to choose. There's three of clubs. Horn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to catch the Lotus Petal. Three of clubs is really It's good. inaccessibility. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Inaccessibility. Um, so. Makes sense. And they were cheap when I was younger. Yeah, well, well, things have changed, Cobbles. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm sorry you him. can't collect soda cans down by the soda fountain <laughs> and then trade it in for a three of clubs like they used to. Traded in like 23 of clubs to my local game store when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> I only got $5 each. <laughs> they traded it for a shivin' dragon. <laughs> Card's still good. Okay, I'll tap for a yeah. black. I'm going to cast Dark Ritual. My goodness, he's going for it. I'm not going for what you think I'm going for. Uh, <laughs> I'm passing I mean, turn. Or passing priority. Gobble pass this turn, guys. It's not even my turn to pass. You time walk yourself, sorry. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm passing your gonna, turn. Uh, uh, your dark <laughs> ritual resolves. Unless, All of course, text on the stack resolves, and it's the end of your turn. So. What, what color does your talisman tap for? Blue. Blue and red. Okay. 
I'm gonna play and black. Three black floating. I'd like to use two of it and cast a demonic tutor. No response from me. No response. No response. Okay. Uh, so while he's searching, a question came up. Um, it says, if Zach just told everyone's Ryan hand, Ryan's hand, is it against the spirit of CEDH? So, um, guys, what are your thoughts? The, no, not necessarily. Um, kind of depends on the player, because like each individual player has different views of what the spirit of CEDH is, as hard as that is to accept. Um, I would say it's kind of dependent on what's happening in the game sometimes it's better to tell the table like if you see someone's like about to win you're like hey table he's about to win save all your interaction mm -hmm. uh and then other times it's better to just keep it to yourself so you don't play into anything or play and you can play around stuff yourself but i don't think it's necessarily out of the spirit of cdh so i mean if you want go for it there's nothing you're, to stop you according to the rules you're allowed to divulge the information so hey. I think it yeah. depends on how you do it more than anything. Yeah. I mean, Cobble, you can lie thoughts? about it as well is the other thing. That's true. Yeah, you can yeah. also lie. So, Cobble, what are your thoughts? I mean, I'm generally a fan of keeping the information that's normally um, as well. So, that, so, a big part of playing successfully is managing information. That's why you cast instants at the last time, you know, at last possible moment. That's why you crack fetches at the last possible moment. You want to hide information for as long as possible. And as you, as your opponents get information, that allows them to make better choices. So if somebody does a G probe and giving everybody else free information is basically, it takes away the advantage that you got from having that information. Now, Folger was saying there, there are circumstances where somebody's like right on the precipice and this person is going to win next turn. Please make sure you accommodate for that. I mean, that that is a time that you want to divulge that information. But in, also, in really every other case, you want to use the information that you have as an advantage against your opponents. I'd agree. I, would, okay. I would probably agree. And and I agree with just about everybody else here. Um, so, Zach, go ahead. I'm sure you've resolved your D-Tutor by now. Uh, I have. So I'm going to tap for a blue, crack my Lotus Petal, use my floating mana, and cast a Toxic Deluge ping. Yudris is a 5-4. He is right. a 5-4, good sir. Uh, I'll pay <laughs> or life. Uh, priority on Cobble on the Deluge. Four. I do not have a response to it. Neither do I. I have no response. Deluge for four happens. I'm a little surprised, actually. <laughs> uh, I will then move to combat. I'm going to swing a 3-3 three, three at Ryan. Oh, is it a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, Deluge. Deluge, 4 4. Minus 4, minus 4. So it's a yeah. 7 7. Oh, one that's right. Oh, that is so spicy. Um, I declare no blocks against your Nezahal. I, sir, will take three. Okay. After that, I will pass the turn. Would you call him a Neza Small? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mute that guy. I'll mute Spammer myself, thank you. I mean, spammer, spammer on the mic. Spammer on the mic. That. This is why we can't you see have nice things, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I can just go throw them outside if we need to. Like, <laughs> I'll take my nice chair with so me. So are, are, you put, are you are you choosing okay. after this? Okay, I'm um gonna cast a tainted pact Ooh. on your instep on his instep. I pass priority on pact. Uh, Zach, cards in hand. Five. Do we want to stop this? So, so. yes, but you would you, you pass priority every time here, Ryan. All right, I'll pass priority. I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to stop Tainted Pact, you have to deal with it, because I literally can't. Okay, well, it, I pass priority to you, Zach. 
Fast priority. Okay. Just start revealing. Got a lotus petal. This was on his end step, right? And this is on his end step. Okay. Yeah. Fast mana. Normal mana. Really good Edna to start. Yeah, it would be a really good Edna to start. That's all you want to do with Edna. Just hit like fast mana to start with, and then you figure it out. Sword Shepherd. Either I'm just not up to date on Najila, or this is a very interesting pile. I mean, it's a it's the uh, ad nauseum. It's a turbo nas. Yeah, yeah okay. it's a turbo nas pile. It's hybrid farm, he said. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's just Najila, not used to saying it. Whatever Najila wants to do, it's like any strategy. Just put it in Najila, and it's good. Yeah, <laughs> I could, it's true. Because maybe you can win with Najila in three cards, and just could just be five color good stuff. Yeah, true. <laughs> It is what did you list? Five color good stuff. Yeah. yeah, with three infinite combo cards stuffed in there. So. Nathan says that Najila's on a new pile. Oh, look. Uh, Adnos, gonna keep going. All right. What is he going for? Is he just looking for Thoughts Oracle? Fresh and hope for less of a potato quality setting. <laughs> good boy. Uh, does he even have double blue? I don't know. Play land. Oh. I'll stop here. Lion's oh. eye down. Stopping with LED. Yep. I think this man has a underworld breach in hand. I missed my Nuzzle Hall trigger because I'm an idiot. Awesome. Derp. It was all. My turn. Proper uh, turn. Is Najila in the command zone or somewhere else? Yeah, command zone. is now in the command zone. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I just making sure. Made a special note for no that. Worries. No worries. No worries. Well, hopefully, me missing that one trigger doesn't. Matter of what? Kill game. That's what they all say. I'm saying hopefully, you know. Uh, Nathan, he stopped on Lion's Eye Diamond. Right. I'm gonna cast an Underworld Breach. Alright, Nuzzle Hall Trigger. Got it. Okay. You can't pay anything, right? No, no it, just, it just happens. happens. Just happens, yeah. But, like, people Alter. can up in response to it. I pass priority on Breach. Zach, do you have the interaction to stop breach? No, I do not. He will always say that, Ryan. Well, then, if but if I let it go, it just resolves. Cards in hand, Zach. I have six. I have a tough time believing you don't have any interaction for that. If you pass, if you pass and like you just loot, trust me, I'm notorious for not drawing interaction. Yeah, that's true. Um, he is the person who just interacted with you, Ryan. That what? Is true. I demonic tutor for he, you literally, you literally just fluster stormed me. Oh sure, yeah, but you were trying to win, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that true? <laughs> please, Ryan, on. I'm begging. Please pass. Path priority. Path yeah, priority. Right. Okay. Oh. Anzai. Pass priority on. Pass priority on LED. There's a hall do I draw? Pass priority on LED. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you drop yeah. them. Never mind. Pass priority on LED. Pass priority. Pass priority. Okay. Um, I'm going to crack that Lion's Eye. Discarding a Summer's Pact and a Deflecting Swat. Nice food, Ryan. Food stream. Coming in club. It's Calzone time. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. That looks good. Uh, Calzone's a pretty fa fancy word for just a folded in half pizza. Yeah, but Excuse it's me. It's there's Italian. a reason that we don't just call it folded in half pizza, okay? Yeah. Okay. So you cracked LED and then now you're casting it again? That's correct. All right. That's Uh, LEDs on the stack. Correct. Pass priority on LED. Pass priority. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. 
What else is in your graveyard? Do you have SWAT? Good Strand, Mystic Remora, Gilded Drake, Derevi, Fiend Artisan, Tainted Pact, and Deflecting SWAT. Uh, pass priority on LED. Okay. I'm gonna recrack the LED again. Which uh, colors are you floating for both of them? Um, this time. And the blue. The first one was which colors? Black. It's black. black. Yeah. Okay. Nice. You have color coordinated dice. I do. Useful. It's very, very useful. Helpful. Casting tainted pact again. Pass priority. There's a whole draw. Pass priority. Pass priority. So while he's flipping, um, Noah Saldana asks, I am a Domino's representative. I'm looking for a sponsor to sponsor a new YouTube channel. Are you interested <laughs> in a sponsorship? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Depends on what we'll get. Is it unlimited pizza? Because if so, yes. Yeah, because I'm in. <laughs> Casting a Tassa's Oracle. Pass priority. Zach, do you have it? Also, once again, this is not what you interact with. I'll pass priority. I can I do? This is super awkward, dude. Trust me, it's awkward. I uh, hey, uh, uh, I pass priority. Oracle resolves. That's his Oracle resolves. Trigger on stack. Tainty packed. No. Pass priority. Uh, Folger? I pass. I pass. Okay, I'm gonna show you that I don't... can't do anything. Um, I will give... I do I give the 1-1-2? One, one, I'll give it to Ryan. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. You have one left floating, Cobblepot? That's right. Okay. I have six cards in my library. <laughs> I'm going to cast this Is It Charm. Uh, the modal will be draw two, discard two. Okay. Okay. Draw two. Holy crap. Discard Gemstone Cavern and Bloodstained Mire. Hmm. Reset priority. Yep. I pass priority on tainted pact. I pass priority. Wow, Ryan, this guy. Oh, now you're you're saying in your ultra secret telepathy thing that I should be doing it now. <laughs> I mean, now now that he can't reset, you're, you'd be betting on him having a free counter spell that's exactly packed or force look, negation. Look at this force of will in my graveyard. That's the only reason why I was going for it. I see your force of will in the graveyard, and I was putting on a prayer. I cast packed and I die. <laughs> what are you doing this, Ryan? Are you saying that smart. I should respond instead of pass no. priority? Is that what you guys are yeah. telling me? That, no, Zach can re still reset priority. Oh, no, Folger. Get out of here with that nonsense. 
No, what? What? I mean, I'd like to play a he second wants, game. This card cards the Nezahal to reset priority. I mean, I'm assuming that's why Ryan passed it because Ryan just sculpted this top twenty. He has some kind of interaction with two open. I know so, Ryan. Mm -hmm. has All right, so I guess priority's on me. Yeah. Oh, you're weak, Ryan. You're weak. Dude, I'm not gonna. A base is so basic. Okay. Okay. All right. So do it. All right. So basically, what I can do is I can force you to discard three cards, or else we lose the game. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Did the Lab Maniacs do a video about not doing that? With that, we one talked about how it's, it's so, bad form. It's, it is. Yeah. That which is yeah I, your yeah. opinion, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and everyone's entitled to it. Exactly. So. Uh, uh, since Ryan, you're in the hot seat. No one else's opinion is better than you. So. Yeah, that's true. Tainted Pact. I'm pretty sure that the Ladmen reached out to like the rules committee or somebody from the rules committee. Responded okay, so to that. that's I, I I think that one is in the about the land tap part of it. Which it's, we don't talk still, about. Yeah, that that doesn't thing. exist. No, it's very different things. Cards in hand, Zach. Well, oh, since we have an authentic lab man, can five, he six, seven, eight, respond? Alright, priorities on me. Attempt to cast Mana Drain. Pain of life through Talisman of Creativity. Oh. Uh, There's a whole trigger. Counter the, the Mana Drain. What's that? Counter the Mana Drain with your Pact of Negation. <laughs> that you've been <laughs> holding, that you've been sandbagging in your hand. Yeah, my Pact of Negation been sandbagging. <laughs> I pass priority on Mana Drain. I also pass priority on Mana Drain. It resolves. Tain it back. I will get really, too colorless. I really wish I could show you all what I've drawn. You're just, you're just gonna laugh. You literally just laugh. So, uh, Tain it Pact is um, countered. Countered, and I still have. Let's see. Um, six cards, and still I still have six cards. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Which is more than two. Resolve. Sorry. ETB on stack. No. Yeah. Thoughts is Oracle. You guys mind if I just uh, exile the rest of my library real quick? <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, still yeah. with Gila, technically. I I was gonna say, <laughs> technically, with our life totals, you had what? Uh, oh no, you can't cast a Gila, can you? You're one no, short. I... Yeah, if you top back to land, you can. Not this yeah, turn. You. I believe Cobble. You're still in this game. <laughs> I believe. Um, I mean, if Ryan has Twister, Zach might as well. Uh, no, Zoracle is, is still there, but everything else gone. Oh. Okay. I am uh, passing my turn. I will okay. untap them. I had to go for it. I'm keeping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Alrighty, cool. I will uh, pass the turn. Okay. Oh shit, yeah. Let me just, um... Whoa, language. I'm sorry. Oh shoot. <laughs> hey, nab it. Oh, darn. Oh, oh, fish sticks. sticks. Oh, this gets in yeah. green. Oh, <laughs> fooey. <laughs> Alright, untap, upkeep, skip, draw through Necropotence, first main phase. I had two colorless to my pool. I resolved it, by the way. Cool. Modify the top of my deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to attempt to cast Imperial Seal again. That was a whole trigger. No response. Draw.
I passed party on uh, Imperial Seal. I also passed priority. Resolves. Okay. All right, I'm Go fetching, so you guys can talk to the chat. Uh, everybody's just like PG-13 swearing right now. Right. <laughs> Very offensive. Oh. Uh, how come Zach Super. doesn't draw interaction? Zach, would you care to take that one? Yeah. Would you care? So can we can we ask how many cards you've drawn to your your enormous fish and so how much at? I th uh I think he's at twelve cards drawn off as a whole, maybe thirteen now. I don't know. It's in that range. So he definitely has interaction. Free interaction, maybe not, but yeah, definitely has some. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I was using our stream. I heard my name name called. Yes. Uh, how come Zach doesn't draw any interaction? Someone in chat wants to know. Oh, because I'm really bad at this game. Big truth. Can um, confirm. Yeah, actually, Adam, I'm going to throw late. you my hand. Okay. And I'm just going to laugh. It's going to be great. Um, let's not do that. Um, I exactly I'm five cards. I'm not playing the game. Here, I'll just take a uh, picture of it really fast. Sure. <laughs> uh, so Noah Saldana wants to ask Zach how his RuneScape luck is so big, but MTG luck so small. Because that's what he burned it all on. Yeah, I burned it he all burned on. it all on that. I burned it all on that. old school RuneScape. <laughs> ah, I'm totally okay good. with that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to. Uh, can I not die to Nezahal? Bounces. Okay, that that's not. Nezahal does not fly or have any evasion, so you can just block with your one one. So you have that's three nice turns. Yep. <laughs> okay, I am going to. I'm going to. How much do I want to pay into Necro? This is brutal. It's the barest I've ever seen in my life. For my opponents, I mean. Anyway. Um, seven. Somehow. Nine. I mean, I guess I'll pay. Mm. I'm like I'm like just really low. All right, all right uh, I will pay one life. <laughs> I'll pay yep. one life and exile one card. <laughs> pay one life and exile one card. Big spender, do. Big, big spender. Big. But we got a shooter. This is combo piece right off the top. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, do I want to do anything else? I don't think I have anything else to do with that. I mean, I guess I can do that. F6 is an adventure token. Yeah. The question on stream. Yeah. Cool. F6 is just hearkening to a digital form of Magic the Gathering playing where people use the F6 key to indicate that they are going to pass all priorities for the remainder of the game. Uh, yeah, from MTGO. There's a digital Magic platform? Yes, there's there's two actually. Oh I mean, for what it's worth, even though we're playing paper magic, this is also a digital experience True. because I'm indeed not in the same. Room you know, he's life. not he's not wrong. We're social distancing. Black, green, and red, paying life using their other two. Zach, did you see me Cass picture? Idris for the second time. Yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm get taxing and probing Zach. Detect uh, Yidris on the stack. Zach, your priority. Pass priority. Pass the priority. Zach's next side pass priority on Yidris. Okay, uh, I'll move to end step. Uh, tip to put the card in my hand. Okay. I have six cards in hand, and I will pass the turn. Uh, one tap up, keep big draw. <clears throat> Can I do anything? <laughs> Technically. Is that a rhetorical question? I don't know. It's self-reflecting. Yes. <clears throat> question, I guess. Um. Ugh. Audible. Ugh. 
does that do? Aria Watts asks, Arlo Watts, is this still game one? Yes, it still is. Game one. Yes, it's still game one. Can you believe it? It's been, a, it's been a good game. It's been a good game. Priority on you, Cobble. Passing. You see this F6 token right here? Yeah, I do not. Page. My my internet is potato quality, so all yeah. I saw was. I, will, I I pass priority as well. Okay. Resolves. All right, imprint trigger. Yeah. So I'm gonna imprint a consecrated sphinx. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. That's what you're. Okay. I've been nestled. <laughs> what? How am I gonna get it into play as well? Like, come on. Uh, you're one mana short. Come on, Come on. I'm assuming you're about to play. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I know it's in Ryan's hand. I'm not about to tap out for consecrated things. That sounds like a bad idea. All right, I will play <laughs> Island for the turn. Tap. Chrome box. Cast a brainstorm. Pass priority on brainstorm. No response. <clears throat> Holy smokes, Batman. Holy rusted metal, Batman. While he is brainstorming, uh, someone in chat asks, do you guys ever try to get your wife or girlfriend to play CEDH? Um, no, I can barely afford to play Magic myself, so we both don't need to be broke. <laughs> I need to put um, back. I'm gonna put... My wife does not play Magic, but um, my oldest two kids do, and they will eventually be playing CDH, I'm sure. Right now, we, I, do, I do Cube with them, since we're all kind of sequestered and anchored in our house. Um, we, we do Cube every weekend. That's fun. Oh, That's fun. It's, it's a it's a power cube, um, but it's designed for multiplayer since it's just uh, you know two kids and I. So okay. instead of, so it's it's sort of like a commander power cube. Yeah, it sounds a lot like uh, what my cube morphed into. It was originally a power cube to play one on one, and then eventually just divulged into us drafting hundred card decks and playing a big old game of commander kind of. Alright, I'm gonna nice. tap for a blue. I'm gonna cast a Mr. Kimura. Pass priority. Uh. Result. Oh, sh the crowd goes crazy. Crowd's most wild. That's what is that? All four? That's all four fish? That is if all I'm not four mistaken. Fish. Yeah, yeah, all four of us. Alright, I'm gonna move to combat. Folger coming at you with a seven. Oh, taking you to the face, Folger. I think it's. Um, I do, in right, fact, I take just it. Happen. Just fight that voice, but uh, I will <laughs> fall for seven. <laughs> it's going to get you now. Good look out. Here comes this fish. <laughs> <laughs> get to the chopper. <laughs> Eight cards in my hand. I would like to move to my end step. Alright. Discard, discard Necropotence. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see. Joke name that we always had for Nezahal was uh, Mythic Remora. Yep. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, so you're passing? Yes. Yeah, he moved to discard. Tap. Draw the mana source. Draw it. That sucks. Um. I don't even have enough mana to recast Najila. Nope. Oof. Oof. Oof, a dog. Oof, a deer, a female deer. <laughs> that is not how that works. It is now. <clears throat> um, Zach, do you have any blockers right now? I do not. Pick one. Bad day. Get there. My face. In the face. You hit it. Passing from there. At your end step, I will cast Memory's Journey. Fish trigger and a Can you put uh, Team Impact back into my library, please? 
Um, <laughs> actually, possibly not the worst idea I've ever had, because it'll force them to use their copious amounts of interaction while I sit here and try and find a white source to do literally anything. Uh, but I'm going to target Remora, Demonic Tutor, and the Taxian Probe. Uh, maybe not Probe. Yeah, I'll just... It's, it's up to, correct? Uh, target player shuffles up to... Up to, three, yeah. Three, I'll put, I'll up put Remora and the Tutor back into my library. Okay. Double double fish trigger. I pay, for the, I pay for the one I can. Okay. Uh, does memories journey resolve? I'm assuming my high impact I, play. Yeah, I I pass priority on your memories journey. Uh, Zach, you just drew two cards off of it, bro. Mm -hmm. I one, one. I I pay, I pay for fish. Oh, I apologize. You only drew one. My bad. Did someone get hit by Nezahal during Zach's turn? Uh, I did. Okay, I took seven. Bolter did. Okay. Yeah. Hit on the chin. Yeah, man. Yeah. It hurt. Yeah. Uh, Showman in chat asks, says, EDH has a 10-point scale to evaluate cards. Do you agree with this rating scale? Or do you think CDH has a different rating scale for cards? I've I mean, never heard of the rating scale for cards, I was, but I've I heard have of heard decks. of a rating scale for decks. So, um, I would say that the 10-point scale for decks should probably go away. I don't like it. Yeah, um, it's, 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 it's not very accurate. It's hard to have an accurate... I mean, honestly, deck power level... There's just like, there has yet to be a way that I've seen that does it correctly. Yeah. Oh, uh, guys, um, Neville has says no max hand size, so I shouldn't have had to discard this Necropotence. Oh, you, can you, can you don't have the max hand. The yeah. max hand, it's fine. He has a lot of text um, on him, but like, I just it's it. fine. Read your cards, man. Read your cards. Untap, up sleep, and thing. draw for the turn. And my defense is the first time I've ever played with Nezahal, so. <laughs> Boy, story. Reading the card tells uh, you how the card works. I'm going to cast a Phantasmal Image. Oh, yeah. We know this as. How this yeah. is going? No, we know what this is going to enter as. This is going to enter as a Thassa's Oracle. So I'm going to pass priority. That's also a thing, yeah. I pass priority. Passing priority as well? I have a Nezahal. Pass the turn. Nezahal! Wow! Nice. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Hey, you. Uh, anything else, Folger? No. No white source, huh? Nope. <laughs> that is the brutalist. Cards in everyone's hand. Three. And one. Nine. A nine? On a very unimpressive nine. How do you have nine? Uh, I drew a card from your memory's journey, put me to eight, ah, and, then back. and then you pick, you pick the necro up. Sure, sure, sure. Necro yeah, up yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 gotcha. I mean, I could discard if you want me to, necro is like... draw due to the I, necro I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, first main phase, uh, um, um, oh, I yeah. am I'm going to... Like a nuzzle hole. What, what yep. Else? Yep, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I don't know, I'm reading chat and misreading my card, so like it's fine. It's fine. It's 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 all good. Uh move to combat. Yep. Cobbled no. Uh I have a response. Attackers. Zach no. Idris. At, oh, wait, I think uh, responds. Oh no no. Oh I was about to say oh, I was gonna he does. Attack. He does actually. Uh I have a Nezahol trigger. I was about to say oh, that's feeding a ton of fishes. Three fish triggers go onto the stack. Three fish triggers resolve. Three draws happen. Yup, that's a lot of fish. No response to your. That's sword. a lot of damage, sir. All right. Brian gains five. Relevant, by the way. I gain five life. Blark, girl. Nice. That's his oracle. Oh, look at this dude. Uh, pass priority on Thassa's oracle. Also pass priority on Thassa's oracle. I'm passing priority on the Thassa's oracle that's already in play. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> Trigger on stack. Attempt to cast a mana consultation. Three triggers. Three fish triggers. All right. So a couple things. First of all, uh, we have we have three fish triggers. One of which can be stopped with the cost of four mana. Correct. A mundo. One, two, three, and four. I will pay for Mystic Remora. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, then double Nezahal. Draw. Obviously, I can't do anything about those. So. Yep. Demonic Consultation on the stack. Zach, you are first to act. Pass priority. I have a uh, passing priority. I also pass priority. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Um, I'm going to name a card that's not in my deck. It's going to be Thassa's Oracle. So I'll exile my whole deck. Thassa's Oracle trigger back on the stack. Zach? Stifle. Trick behind. Uh, Can I cast Flash? Pass priority. Tomb followed by Shallow Grave. <laughs> uh, I'm going to flash back <laughs> Memories Journey. Target. Works. How much does it? How much does it cost? Um, for a oh. green, target player shuffles up to three target yeah. cards. Uh, I'll right. three. Uh, Can I see? Well, your CMC is CMC uh, is still two. But so, yeah. fish trigger yeah. and alcohol trigger. Uh, yeah, you can have them both. Draw. Cards in hand, Folger. Still three. Uh, I'm currently five. Five. Oh, that's right, Nezahal. Nezahal. Uh, yeah, so, uh, can I see your graveyard, Ryan? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, because I need to name three targets. Yes, you do. Uh, I can't, uh, can you get... A lot of... To the, maybe to the left. Sorry, it's a glare. See. My apologies. Yeah. Um, there's a Polluted Delta, a Lotus Bloom, and a Red Blast you can have. Or Windfall, actually. Polluted um, Delta. Polluted Delta, Lotus Bloom, Windfall. Are your three cards i would like to target to put back into your library all right Understand. so those are the targets yeah i'm going to respond by attempting to cast force of will pain of life and exiling brain freeze uh triple fish trigger can't pay it a draw zach you have priority on force of will uh tap for Two, I'm going to delay Force of Will. I have a fish trigger. We good, Zach? Yeah. I draw. Uh, um, I pass priority on delay targeting Force of Will. Delay targeting Force of Will. All right. Uh, I have no response. All right, so delay. Uh, then Memory's Journey will resolve with its flashback. Resolve. You'll put Windfall, I think it's random order, you shuffle in. So just put those three uh, cards. That's fine, I can, I can shuffle them in, no problem. Yeah. Uh, and then you have a five historical ETB on the stack. ETB on the stack. I will resolve said ETB. Yep. And, uh, actually, uh, no, no. Uh, ETB's still on stack. No. That's, yeah, that's Oracle, trigger still on stack. I have yeah, priority. You do. Uh, activate Necropotence three times. Did you read the chat? No. Why? They said oh, are they saying it? Are they yeah, saying it? Chat. Oh no, I had not. I was not reading chat. I will exile three to Necro, paying three life. I pass priority on that. I also pass priority. So that's the game. Seems to be. All right, okay. that's his oracle. Trigger resolves. How much interaction do you have, Zach? I drew the delay this turn. Last turn, I drew Force of Negation, and then I have yep. all of this non-interactive spells. And I drew this one this turn as well. So, land... Yeah, force of Negation delay? Yeah, I had delay this turn only, and I had Force of Negation 
uh, the turn when Cobblepot was going to go off. Uh, I drew it towards the end. Gotcha. Good game, gentlemen. Yeah. Indeed. I don't. I don't Let's draw interactions very well. Let us play another. Yuppers. Hey guys, I drew my white source. If I had on Hi, did you? <laughs> oh my god, oh, you! That toxic deluge was key. There's no doubt. Yes, yeah. definitely. I was going to go for the win based I'm off. Very surprised you didn't mana drain it. Yeah, I uh, I was a hundred percent. I was a hundred percent behind it. I, I, I absolutely I was fine yeah. with killing my Yidris because I had what I needed in hand regardless no, yeah, of Yidris. Yidris was just icing, so yeah, good game. So Cobble, All right. um, if you've seen any of our other live streams, you know that we tend to ask people what I like to call uh, Thanksgiving dinner questions, which are Ooh. really just polarizing questions. Not oh, not on things like religion or politics. Important subjects like favorite pizza yes. place or if you cut your sandwiches into squares or triangles. Okay. Um, so I'm thus these, are the, these are the things that define us. Yes. So yeah, by, by the way, there are wrong answers. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> there are definitely wrong answers. Um, and I say that because depending on how you answer this will depend on if we're friends or not. So I will ask right. you the most important question. What is your favorite flavor of Pop Tart? Ah. Uh, favorite flavor of Pop Tart has got to be like just the original strawberry that had the white frosting all over it. Good, uh, good answer. Strong frosting. answer. Yeah. yeah. Must be an age thing. Because that's the answer I always gave blueberry or strawberry. Yeah, blueberry frost is where, is where it's at, my dudes. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. But everyone nowadays likes to, to say s'mores because they like to eat garden soil. Because that's what s'mores <laughs> taste like. I asked you not to share that, Ryan. Not wrong. <laughs> it's what it tastes like. Not wrong. That's what you taste like, Ryan. <laughs> Garrett has entered the chat. Oh. Uh, okay, I will keep my first seven. I haven't even finished Cobble. all Cobbles on the yeah. play. Oh, actually, hey, yes. do you toast your Pop-Tarts or no? Absolutely. Thank you. They're so hot, they're cool. They're so cool, they're hot. I do not Ooh. toast my Pop-Tarts. I eat them by the box with glasses oh, of milk. I think it's a must to toast your Pop-Tarts. I, I nah. can do either. I can I can grab a Pop-Tart on the go if I'm in a I can't eat a Pop-Tart without liquid, though. you got to have liquid. I prefer, prefer I, to. I prefer to have them warm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a Pop-Tart on toast. I just put pop tarts between my thighs an hour before stream, and then by the time stream comes, whew, I am so ready. That is really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, crap! Was I I'm, for that I'm, one? I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Uh, I'll, I'll keep my seven. All right. Um, and somebody oh, asked man. in chat. Uh, somebody asked in chat. Uh, do any of you have an Atremi the Ever Playful Commander deck? No. Uh, who is that? Who's a Trimmy? A who deck? Oh, Trimmy the Ever Playful? I will. Is that a new card? Yeah, it's uh, it's the Saltai Mutate. Yeah, no. Oh, Saltai Mutate. I do not. No, I haven't built casual in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I me as well. I need to, what I need casual. to do is I need to, I need to put together an Ashaya deck is what I need to do. Yeah, my last deck that I built casually was that Muldrotha deck. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. It's just like it's generic. Not, it's not impressive or anything. It's just value. I mean, it's just generically good stuff, Muldrotha. Pretty so, much. Good permanent. I don't play any fast yeah, good permanent Sol Ring. I can play Sol Ring in my casual decks. I was going to say, I, I don't run Sol Ring if I'm building an actual casual deck. I know. Well, I, I, I mean, run, you run I Mana, Crypt, and Mana Vault casual, Ryan. I know yes, I do. Because they're a little bit <laughs> they are Which legal means... in this format. True. I'm aware. And until they're banned, I will run them in any deck I desire. Yeah, which is definitely your prerogative. But... Exactly, because it's legal. I, en I, am. I enjoy dumpstering people with my three mana mana rocks into five drops. Yeah. <laughs> dumpstering people. Yeah, man. Uh, are we What's just your opinion on combos in... 
Yeah, we're we're just uh we're just cobbles we first. Move it. So so cobble pot is first. On the mm -hmm. last yeah. one. Uh, we could. We don't need to move the camera. If that's what you're saying. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, we just shift the turn order to the one, one to the. Yeah, no, it, it's it'll be cobbled in me then Ryan and Zach. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Shift it. Never mind. Where okay. it runs I think we're all. We, I think we're all have the same idea. We're just saying it different ways. Yep. Yeah. Yes. 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 But my way was correct. So. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. You say, Captain. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this this hand. Better, better than my last hand. But there, there are seven cards. Oh. Are there any pregame actions? No. no. Not for me, anyway. Nope. Good to go? Yep. Yes. Fire it yes. off. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs, and I'm going to crack it. For a savannah, I'm gonna tap that for an elves of deep shadow. Yep. Last turn. Untap yes. a keep a draw for the turn. I will shock a breeding pool. I will cast mana bolt. Yep. And I will cast a spell seeker. Hey, how about that? Um, I have no response to spell seeker. Wow. Same priority here. I will find a. Hmm. We got a couple options here. Yeah, seeing it's T one. Yep. We got multiple. Probably got options. like thirty options in his deck. No, uh, honestly, like twenty five. If I was gonna just look at all the legal targets. Oh, it's but... so different than thirty. Yeah, there's a difference <laughs> of five, Adam. That's, that's yes, yeah, numbers. with a delta of five. We can do math here at Blending with Power. Yeah. Join us next time as we do complicated algorithms in chat. Like solving for x and fractions. Yeah. Let's employ Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> Join us next time as we solve quadratic equations. <laughs> Thank you so much for your... Zach, do you know the quadratic equation off to the top of your head? Uh, isn't it like foil? Something like that? No, not at all. Oh. Well, then, maybe. I don't believe you. I fail to believe you. I don't know, dude. I haven't solved a quadratic equation since, like, like eight years ago or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like eight years ago? That's it? Yeah, when I was in college. Now, now, now I kind of want to know what he did eight years uh, ago. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put, a, demo I'll put a demonic tutor into my hand, and I'll pass. Makes sense. Okay. I'm I'm tutor. Okay, tutor for a tutor. Nice. Yeah. Like Thank it. you, Kumat Hebear. Uh, Bloodstain Mire. I'm going to crack it for a Badlands, uh, and I'm going to cast a Mana Ball. It's good. I'm out of this I game. Will pass the turn. Draw. Uh, Folger, what do you got in your hand? Uh, absolutely nothing. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I have to resolve my my search and search yeah. real quick. Uh, am I good to start revealing now, Ryan? Are you? Uh, not yet. Not, no. Okay. I will wait. I have six cards in hand, by the way. Thank you for everyone's patience. Please resolve your Get Probe. All right, ready? Everyone ready? Not looking? All right, this is my hand. Can you see these six cards, Zach? I see those six cards, and I am very whelmed. Are you good? Yeah. All right, cool. I'll draw a card. Uh -huh. All right. Cards off? Yep. Heads up. They're off, yes. I'm going to play a Morphic Pool. Oof. I'm going to cast a Preordain. My goodness. It begins. Oh, scry 2. It does begin. Put one on top and one. Whoop! Careful. 
on the bottom card. That's the turn. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw for my turn. I to play an old forest. Cast a Deathrite Shaman. And to cast an Aether Sworn Canonist. Ooh. Ooh, uh, indeed. That, Pass good. priority on Canonist. Oh no, are you forcing us to play fair magic? That's right. All right. Uh, friendship ended with Cobble. That's uh, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Aether Sworn. Okay, that's why I wasn't sure. No. So, so I'll, I'll, uh, uh, Folger, I believe you passed priority on the Aether yeah. Sworn. I'll pass priority. You have an Aether Sworn Canonist, sir. And I'm passing my turn. Is there. Uh, untap, upkeep, odds will hurt. I will take three. I will drop the turn. Hmm. It's a weird and awkward and it's, a, it's not a great draw. Um, I will play Mana Confluence as my land for the turn. I will pay a blue and cast Preordain. No response. Pass priority. Passing priority. All right, I will scry two cards. Uh, Tim Lull, doing very large things but not infinite things is my favorite thing to do. And yeah. Magic. I will That's why bottom he's our one. Local. Go on. Yeah, I was gonna he's say our that. local blood pod player. I'm not sure who you were sure. talking to. All right. <laughs> I never do that. All right. Uh, top, bottom, I'll draw a card. Uh, okay. Can this happen so I can't really do anything? I will pass the turn. Okay. And step up, keep, draw. Ooh, that's oh. not bad. I need, to, I need to dust off blood pod. I haven't played it in a long time. Yeah, I'm about to bust out my... My main deck as well here in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna play a volcanic island. Oh. Volcanic and I glare. Will... Nice. Volc volcanic glare land. And I will. Do I do that? I think I do. Well, it wasn't a black land, so we can't add Nas potential. Oh, well, you... yeah. Oh, yeah. That would that would actually be super sweet. I do have the. But I'm not on colors, unfortunately. You can still, you can still um, out. You're absolutely right, mm -hmm. I could. Except for I can't with a Canadist on the board. Um, no, that's an actual statement, sir. Yep, I'm gonna pass the turn. Hold up and pass. Untap up, keep draw. Play a command tower. Tap for two. I'm going to cast a Felwar Stone. Seems good. Yep. I will then pass the turn. On tap. Off a turn. Oh, he's playing a completely different deck, I just noticed. Yep. Yeah, it's Tim <laughs> Yeah, he's on Tim Nathrasios. Speaking of Timna, I'm yep. casting my commander. Your girl is here. I will pass priority on Timna the Weaver. Priority. You have a Timna. I'm going to move to combat. Yep. So, we have uh, two damage heading at Zack and one damage heading at Ryan. You know, if I we declare no blocks. Two and me for one, it evens our life totals out. If you like symmetry, we were just talking about math. So. <laughs> Okay, I have, I have no, blocks. no blocks. Okay. Move my second main. Yep. It's going to be a Timna trigger. Got two cards. One. Two. Oh. I'm going to pass my turn. At your end step, I'd like to pay a life and cast Worldly Tutor. Uh, I'll pass priority on Worldly Tutor. Pass priority. Passing priority. Alright, I'll put a creature on top. Um, hmm. 
does he get? Did he get Gilded Drake to take Timna? Did he get his Hermit Druid for that <laughs> nonsense? I mean, we'll find out, won't we? We will. <clears throat> I'll put a phantasmal image on top. Interesting. Indeedio. You know burrito. Burrito, that is neato. Card on top. I will untap. Odds will hurt. I roll a six. I'm fine. I'll draw my phantasmal image for the turn. Okay. I will play a forbidden orchard as my land for the turn. I will pay a life. And uh, Zach, you can have a one-one. And I will cast Kenra for the turn king. Sweet. Priority on Kenra. I pass priority. I'm passing priority as well. Alright, Kendra's resolves. I'd like to pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. That's not horrible. I'm gonna play a snow covered island for turn. Tap for black. I'm gonna attempt to cast a death right shaman. Seems good. All right. If that resolves. I'll pass the turn. Um, I'm going to cast Entomb at the end of your turn. I cannot interact because I've cast my non creep my non artifact this turn. So it's up to you guys. No response for me. No response. Okay. All right. Resolves. I'll put a Nezahal in the graveyard. The yuppers. So there's priority again once that the back is empty. Yep. yep. You cast a uh, Noxious Revival. Targeting right, Nezahal. Targeting Nezahal? Or yep. That's all. Turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Draw this mystery card. We'll play a Spire of Industry. Spicy. Spicy, indeed. Then I will pass the turn. Let's do it on tap. <laughs> You're slow rolling this game. I like it. We're off a turn. Well, it's hard to it's scalding. Discard and reanimate in the same turn with Aether Sworn out. This guy. Sounds like a quitter's attitude to Ryan. I'm going to combat. Um, Ryan, I'm going to have Timma come at you. And Zach, I'm going to have Ether Sworn coming at you. You guys know what you have to do. I'll block. Oh, yeah, right. I'll take it. <laughs> Aw, unfortunate. No, I'm not I'm not losing my shaman for that. He can have a good I mean, you're right to. But... Yeah. Okay. Uh, second main, Timna trigger, draw a card. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Secret Commander Nezahal. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Nezzle Hall's great. Going to pass to Survival of the Fittest. Huh. Oh. It's the hot one, though. So I'll pass Ooh, priority because it? it's the hot one. 
That is a hot. Oh, that is the hot one. I like it. Um, I'm gonna pass priority on your. Survival. Pass priority. And um, I have uh, no other spells that I can cast, so I'm gonna pass my turn. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Pause will hurt for my mana crypt. I roll the two. We're fine. I will draw for the turn. Um, let's see here. Did we roll into Crypt, Holder? He has. Every turn. Turn. Okay. Every turn. Okay. I haven't seen it. Pay attention. Stop reading chat. What? Yeah. Ew. This is how I play loosely, okay? Played unloosely. Alright, I'll play yeah. Misty Rainforest as my land for the turn. I will pay two mana, losing a life under thirty-three. And I will cast a Dockside Extortionist. One, two, Are there seven three, opposing? Four. It's four. There's four. All right. So that's not enough for infinite. I'll pass priority on Dockside Extortionist. Part of a combo line, Zach. BT. Pass priority. It's a combo with his commander and the and, and the phantasmal that he, he just tutored. Yep. You got. Well, he, it. Needs, he needs to get what was it like seven to go infinite? It's seven. It's actually eight, but eight sure. It's a lot. Five, yeah. six. Yeah, to and break, there's it, only to break four. it. There's yeah. four. So. Am I good on the dock set? Combo? Um, yep. Yeah. Passing turn. Passing priority. Passing priority. I have four treasures. Um, as I cannot um, cast other spells, I will. <laughs> I will dome Zach for five. Get in there. Okay, I take five. I will pass the turn. All right. I have actions at the end of his turn. All right, instep right. actions. Pass priority on my on his instep. Yep. Three. I'm gonna cast a frantic surge. That is fine. Yep. That's fine. Go ahead. This card does a whole lot of taxes. It's going to practice Scalding Tarn while you're doing that. Okay. Do you have any actions that you're going to do with the land that you fetch before I move to my turn? No. <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. Draw for turn. You said Jin okay. and Nezahal, right? Correct. He did. He did. All right. Um, playing Arid Mesa. Cast one spell. All right. Um, I don't want to do anything fun. I don't think I do. Alright, I am going to... I'm going to crack my Eric Mesa, that's what I'm going to do. So someone earlier asked what our favorite casual EDH decks would be. Um, Gila. 
Okay. Ninety nine. I I'm of the mindset that ninety nine lands that can produce Wooberg and a Najila is struck too strong for casual. Yeah, you killed it. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure you killed the table on seven. Pretty drastic. Or six. It's one of those. I think it's seven. I think you killed a one and a half player six. The rest of the table seven. Yeah, you could just by just turning sideways. Yeah. Yeah, but you just turn sideways and then put up all your mana to sink into it. Yeah. yeah. My my favorite casual deck is Carador Ghost Chieftain. That deck is my baby. I just I really enjoy the toolboxy aspect of it. Cool boxy aspect of it. Yeah. A lot of fun to play. For me, it's probably, I think it's got to be Titania for me. Although, it's, can I have like a five-way tie? <laughs> is that is that allowed? <laughs> oh. uh, well, what's the maximum amount of tie I can have? A one-way. A one-way tie. You're no fun. Uh, at least give me, at least give me three. Especially at the Taiga. Uh, all right, fine. Titania with special mention of Golos, Riku, and probably Sidri, Galvanic Genius. Attempt okay. to cast Yidris, Yidris. from Wielder. I pass priority on, the, on Yidris. Cobble? I also pass priority on Yidris. I will also pass priority on Yidris. Okay, resolves. I that's my spell. I'll pass. I'll draw. I'll tap for two. Cast. And is it signet? Sure. Sure. Mox opal. Yep. It's good. Popping off. Storm counter. Play, play of badlands. It's not your Ooh. responsibility to count that, Ryan. It's his. <laughs> and four. I'm going to cast my commander. Casts. Cast. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then, tap for one. Cast this preordained from my graveyard. Okay, yeah, that's not likely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. No worries, no worries. I'm like, I cast all these artifacts, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's what happened in my head. Okay, so this is untapped then, and I will pass the turn. Um, quick question: Does anybody know what happened to the Laboratory Maniacs YouTubers? It was in chat. Uh, hit Cobblepot. Would you happen to yeah. know? Anybody want to take that? We'll let our guest answer that. <laughs> the members of the Laboratory Maniacs experienced many different forms of life, and some of them. Learned about having new jobs and new responsibilities. Others had, you know, children, and you know, others are still doing school and you know, PhDs and, and things like that. And some have found other hobbies that they're more interested in than magic or CEDH at the moment. So, for the time being, the laboratory maniacs are on um, indefinite hiatus. Sad. Yeah, big sad. The biggest of sads. Yep. Indeed. All right. All right. Golly, go ahead and go to your turn, good sir. So, EOT, uh, Ryan, I'm going to exile your Arid Mesa for a green. Activate Survival of the Fittest. Pitching Yoraga Tree Speaker. Uh, Michael Bennett, we have had uh, patrons on the live stream before. We did a, was, it, was it like two two live streams where we, we did had back to back weeks of Patreon? Yeah, we sure have. It was like I think it was like eight patrons, eight or ten patrons that, that were on. I think it was eight or ten. The Drake, yeah. you guys find any other creature? Gilda Drake is in my hand. <laughs> Gilda Drake. <laughs> Uh, uh, do you understand the pain of playing Yidris, by the way, Ryan? Because it hurts. I'm starting to feel it. It's, our, it's only game it's, two. It is the biggest Gilded Drake magnet of, like, all time. Uh, 
I've never seen another commander get Gilded Rake more, or more consistently, I should say. I remember early episode, for those of you who don't know, of Play yeah. With Power, uh, Folger was playing Gilded Rake Tribal on an episode. Because <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. he kept getting his Yidris Stolen. Gilded Rake over and over. I think he had like two or three at one time. I think I had on. two on the board at one time. I mean, I was swinging in oh. for six to turn. Y'all y'all better watch out. It was, it was disgusting. It was great. Mm -hmm. oh, nobody, nobody answered Noah's question. I'm assuming which was. <laughs> he's like, he's like, how many, how many wins did P PWP get that weekend? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, the first weekend uh, zero. Yeah, big, big fat <laughs> goose egg. The first weekend, so that was when Garrett and Falter were playing. They just got got by like turn two wins over and over. Yes. Yep. His other question was, how does the team feel about new Omnath in casual and or CDH, especially so Cobblepot? In, in casual, he said Omnath is... He said, you said especially. Go on. If we're going to be technical, <laughs> Adam. Jeez. Omnath is... So disgusting. even though he said especially, you're like, I'm just going to go ahead and go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're Relaxed. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and go first. <laughs> so, Omnath is really good in casual, disgustingly so. And for CDH, it's big time mediocre. I don't really yeah. see it being playable. It's another four mana commander. Like, I mean, it, it's a food, it's a food chain outlet, but like not a it good is. one. And because yeah, the missing a, black hurts yeah. way too much for it to be viable, in my opinion. I agree with that. All right, so hey, Cobblepot, any input? I don't know. Okay, good talk. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and that was Cobblepot with his hot take opinion on uh, Omnath. Uh, so I, I you was, heard it here first, folks. On our I, I, I was a couple layers deep in, in the line that I'm trying to think about. <laughs> uh, so are you, you cast it? Did you just cast Gilded Drake, by the way? I cast a Gilded Drake, but... I'll pass but, priority on Drake. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I, think... I didn't even know. I apologize. I didn't even hear. I thought you would actually, like... I thought you were. Uh, I thought you'd revealed it from your uh, survival. Oh no, no, it's on the stack. We're, so we're way yeah, past that, is what you're telling me. I I think that so, so people have talked about playing Omnath as a food chain commander, and other people have talked about it um, similar to stuff that you do with Anala, where you do a ghostly flicker, infinite loop, mm -hmm. uh, dual caster mage, and I think that one is probably better. But even that. Is still a whole lot of mana investment that requires your your commander to already be on the table. Um, and if people want to try to break it, I think that they should do that. I'm not. It's it's not high on my list to try to do investigation into that particular list. Fair. Um, just all right. So gilded Drake on the stack. I will pass the priority. You have a gilded Drake. Okay, Gilded Drake is going to target Mr. Kenrith. Yep, I was afraid of that. Responses to Gilded Drake target. That's what Wonder. I'm currently... I mean, I have priority, so... He, yep, he does. Uh, I will... fetch my Misty. We good? Yeah, no response to a Misty fetch. I really want to play that new Omnath in casual. Yeah. But I'm going to have to, like... My, my... I've always wanted to do Armageddon Faith reward lines. Because it's... I think it's fun, but it's really, really mean in casual. <clears throat> uh, true. I mean, yeah, it, it, it falls under the category of A plus B combo, which is usually not good and casual. Yeah, but also, you're not winning the game off of it. You know, like, actually, like, the, the game ends. You're just, game you're just locking your opponents out. Nobody has lands except you. And it's just too slow. Like, yeah. uh, I'm also going to shock this watery grave. Okay. And I will give... 
Zach a one one. Test on. Generate some mana. I would like to draw a card with Kenra. Good. Yeah, no response. I have drawn a card with Kenra. Uh, I will pass priority on Gilded Drake. Pass priority. Pass priority. There is a Gilded Drake. Yep, I no longer have a Kenra. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I learned, I learned the social contract the hard way. <laughs> I like I like what he puts in there. Uh, a casual deck is a deck that doesn't beat mine. <laughs> and, a, and a competitive deck is one that does. <laughs> Not technically wrong. Yep. It can be tricky to find the line, that, that like nice line of like a good deck but not too overly oppressive. I have no other effects, Master. Okie dokie. I will untap. Upkeep odds will hurt. I'm fine. Drop the turn. Cool. Um. I will tap two mana and cast a Phantasmal Image. <laughs> what up, Kenner? That's <laughs> funny. <clears throat> um, oh, actually. <laughs> how many artifacts are on the battlefield? Not enough. One, two, Not three, enough. Four, five, six. He needs eight. Yeah, it's six currently. Uh, well, it's artifacts and enchantments. Yeah, it, yeah that, it's six total. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I'll pass priority on Phantasmal Image. I pass priority. Also passing priority. Uh, I have a Gilded Drake. My Gilded Drake will target my Kenrith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we play Hot Potato Hopscotch a little bit more? I love yeah, what's going on. That's here. what I thought he was going to do. Wow. <laughs> Now he has to find a way to kill the phantasmal image on the other side of Which, the board. I mean, he could just have it, you know, Kenrith, whatever. Don't spoil oh. it. Oh, is it only you control? Is it only ones you control? Nah, it's it's any creature. Is okay, it? yeah. Then that's yeah. Why, why wouldn't it be any yeah. creature? Yeah. One, one counter. You, image is, is it a if image is a sick card in Kenrith. Oh yeah. One. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, uh, can I have my Kenrith back, please, and thank you? Sure. <laughs> He'll mail it to you. Pass it to you. Uh, yeah, here's a Gilded Drake. That's you actually have. So there you go. Boom. Um. Okay. I've casted my one spell this turn. I would like to pass the turn. Spicy. <clears throat> oh, you guys have like an infinite token with your own logo on it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. There was a question about it on stream. Nice. I will draw for turn. Really? All right. Really? What do you mean, dude? Every single person has at least a butt of five. Yeah, it's yeah, it, yeah. Everything's coming in kind of thick right now. Well, so. Also, good luck storming off through an aether Storm Hey, you have to kill don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> what if this is an artifact storm deck? What if I'm this is like you, stealth, I'm you know, joy Yeah, life, bro. What if it's Shimmer Yidris? Yeah, exactly. Shimmer I don't even Yidris. think that's a deck. I just wish it was. <laughs> I, man, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. What I am going to do. All right. Does everyone is everyone thick as thieves right now? Yes. Uh, Spirit right. could kill me. You've got everyone's got Drakes for days. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Many traits. Oh Jesus! Are you gonna? But the thing is, Zach, are you going to give up your Hess for my Yidris? That's the question. One way to find out, sir. There is only one way to find out, and that's to ask you: Are you going to trade your Hess <laughs> uh, for right. my Yidris? Do not give him that information, Zach. <laughs> uh, I pass priority. <laughs> that is 100% gold. All right. Um, Did you pass priority on the question? 
<laughs> yes, he did. Oh, he passed he priority on the question. <laughs> that's, oh, that's gold. I love it. Um, five, four. It doesn't seem really worth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap for black and attempt to cast an Imperial Seal. Pass priority. Passing priority. Also pass priority. Okay. I'm going to go fetch a card onto the top of my library. The, the stream says that um, the question resolves and fail to find to answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's actually big truth. Big, 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 big truth. I mean, that's pretty. <laughs> exactly, Mark. I'm real busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, that. Yeah. So I'm going to do one of these numbers here. Um, do I want to do anything else with? this amazing card that I'm going to find at the top of my library. Don't think I do. It's going to be like the dead last card. It's pretty close to it, unfortunately. Where are you? Somebody asked what uh, TNT list Cobblepot is on. Called Fair Magic. It looks like Blood Pod so far with blue. I mean, I'm a, <laughs> there's ten to thrash. Looks like Blood Pod with extra steps. Yeah, yeah it's it's probably like way Pod better. That's not horrible, but um, okay, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm going to find that card, go into the top of my library, cast my non-artifact spell per turn. I will lose two life, and I will not chance to these, and I will pass the turn. <laughs> Fair magic, never heard of her. <laughs> you said pass? Yes, I did. I said I'm pass. untapping, and it feels good. I'll draw. The... F6 for a memento. BRB. Um, I'm going to cast a preordain from my graveyard. Seems everyone good. Cool, everyone cool with that? Okay. Yeah. Pass priority. Scry two. Just... Well, actually, hold on. With that on the stack, Ryan might respond. Unless he's not here. <sighs> I've already looked at the cards. Never mind, then. I thought everyone said it's good. I mean, like... Sure. I'm going to scry to the bottom. Draw. It's exiled. By the way, ignore me. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's not snap. Being stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, pre you're a preordained result. It's fine. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anyone counter preordained. Exactly. I've never seen Outside of, like, Legacy or something, or Vintage. Where it's not banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, also when they're on, like, top deck mode. Uh, tap for two. Uh. Cast Arcane Signet. Sure. Then I will pass the turn. End of your turn. I'm going to activate Survival of the Fittest. That pitch 
Elish Norn. Jinkies. <laughs> Take Jinkies? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, oh, PG, PG 13 stream, so we're only we're only allowed one f bomb per stream before we have to bump it up to R. So okay, we really got to save it for the right moment. Oh, so, my my bad. <laughs> so jinkies, that's good. That's gold. <laughs> I think Ryan's playing chess in the chat. Ryan said G6. Ryan said F6. Yep, mm, exactly. Pawn, pawn to E4. That is, that is a, I was going to say, that is technically a legal move. Yeah. Proud of you. Uh, it's Take a good that. good opening move, too. I approve. Mm -hmm. Yep. Taking, taking control of the center. Strong, strong. Yeah, I think it's called the Samson head opener. The... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> actually, no, I take that back. Zach, you actually play chess, don't you? Like, uh, just a little bit. Okay, cool. Chess, good game. Yeah, it's a good game, yeah. yeah. Good game. Uh, it's right. oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad with the files and columns, like with the numbers and letters. Amen. Uh, it's so... Is it, is it on white side? Is it the king form? Give me 10 seconds, so... I could look yeah. it up. I'm not going to, like, remember so A through H, and then one. A B C D E. So yeah, white side that's king pawn, black side that's queen's pawn. Yeah. Okay. What would you recommend for a well while he's searching? What would you recommend for a Rakdos player? Um, Not C D H. Lorenzo that's Doomsday. for sure. Hey. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're in high power to clearly. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Grinzo Doomsday just recently had a resurgence because of the conspicuous snoop line. So you can assemble essentially a snoop line with Kiki Chiki and whatnot. Uh, so if you like that kind of stuff, then I'd recommend that. If you're into doing a lot of things, like a lot of moving pieces and stuff, Anya is pretty good. Um, and if you want to go for like a hand denial thing, that's usually that's where Croaks is. Croaks is. Yeah. They all seem to end in some sort of world gorger reanimation loop too. I'm taking the image. Got it. Which so if you want to switch image. between the Rakdos decks, then um, no. Yeah, I mean the Grinzo, the Grinzo Doomsday thing is not as much cool torture, but I do believe it sure packs it. So, uh, but Grinzo is a conspicuous snoop line, uh, primarily. But it yeah. does. I, I don't know. I have to guess again, but. So we got a phantasmal image. This is Dead. fantastic. Show yeah. This is Kenri fantastic. Kenrith musical. You know, I was chair. thinking the same thing. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. It's a thing. If you want to play Mox Opal, how many artifacts should you be playing? Safely, 13, I'd yeah. say? Yeah, not I'd less say, than 13. I'd 13 say like enough. 13 to 14, but yeah. I, oh, yeah. 13 other, I would say at least. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go yeah. lower yeah, than that. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So 14 total artifacts yep. or more. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This list has Opal in it, and it runs, I think, 15 <clears throat> artifacts. You can actually just yeah. look that up. If only there was a way. Um, that's a. That's are we gonna cast a balloon tender? Oh, this list only runs Ooh. fourteen. Sorry. Yep. Yep. What up, balloon tender? You have balloon tender. I have a balloon tender, and everybody else has a thick board, and I'm passing my turn. I my one spell cast. I have in-step actions. Board. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. You could have gotten with Gilded Drake on Ryan, get the Tomb to trigger. I'm gonna lose a life to cast in Tomb. In Tomb? Oh, this is. I oh, will yeah. pass priority on in Tomb. 
Uh, I think this is danger, right? This is lots of lots of things are danger. Yep. With this, um, he, whenever he reanimates, is gonna, you know, that's what we're gonna be have to be. Well, he's gonna get hermit of. druid, and then he can get it back with Kenrith and give it haste with all activated abilities. Yep. So, uh, uh Ryan, you passed priority. I did, sir. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna tap for two and cast Narset's reversal. Oh. <laughs> Can Good I God. just say the spiciness of Whoa! The <clears throat> um, priority on Narset's Reversal Cobble. I'm passing. Yeah, it was Yeah, I can't legally respond, which is really yeah, unfortunate. Right. And I'll put my Well, back at least into not my with a non artifact spell. Yeah. I'll put a Consecrated Sphinx in the graveyard. Yep. Or... <clears throat> so, still at end step now. I'm going to tap for Ben Orchard for a green. Uh, Ryan, you can have a 1-1. Thanks, buddy. And I'd like to put a 1-1 counter on the Gilded Drake Phantasmal image under Kylopod's control, which will kill it, causing the trigger, and the image will go to my graveyard. True story. Okay. True facts. Of stories. I would like to untap and go to my turn. Um. Anything else at your end step, Cobble? Sorry. How many a, how many treasures is a dockside resolving for? Seven. Eight. It's four. seven, isn't it? It's eight. One, two, Hold on. Three, four, five, One, two, six, seven. Three, four, seven. five, six, seven. I have mana vault. I have four artifacts from Zach. I have two. Like I guess it is seven. It's seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Okay. He does not have infinite. No, no yeah. I, I would be one. I'm one. Unless short. he, unless he wish claw talisman. Although in I do have, I do have a colorless floating still at my end step, so I actually will just do this now then, if I want to, right? I'll make seven. Technically my end step, but yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm. Let me. I gotta take questions real quick. Give me like two minutes. Sure. While well, Folger goes into the tank. Seven. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cobble, do you um, cut your sandwiches into squares or triangles? I used to cut them. Well, I used to just let them be square shaped. Since yeah. having children, for some reason, it has, for time, changed to triangles because, for whatever reason, it's easier to eat when they're triangles. I guess smaller mouths or whatever for the points. They taste better. Yeah. And they taste better. Miles says squares. Miles, you're a square. Miles is a square. Just gonna say that's a very square answer. <laughs> um, I, I okay. I like to ball mine up and just pop them in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and eat it like like a like a gross looking orange or fruit. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. You, take, you take one slice of bread and you get your ingredients on it and then ball it up and just. Oh, is that like a is that like a hot pocket? <laughs> um, now I want to try that now. <laughs> oh, it's just the idea of crunching into it like an apple and it's a sandwich. Oh my god! <laughs> Jelly um, comes oozing so forward. <laughs> yeah, the, the mustard squirting out of the sides and stuff. It's Fun it's mustard. Uh, okay, and so it's still and at end step. I'm gonna use my colorless oh, floating and my mana yep. to reanimate my phantasmal image and my four treasures. Interesting. So Ryan's you're putting correct. Everybody else is the only one who can. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, so basically, it's an activated ability on the stack. Correct. Among correct. Those. Yeah. You can also get rid of the dock side. Uh, which helps. I mean, <laughs> I mean, does it hypothetically? <laughs> Hypothetically, I can get rid of the dark side, I guess. Um, I mean, either but, you can or you uh, can. Yeah, the ability resolves. Uh, okay. Well, removing uh, the canvas is also an apt choice. But... Yeah. So, I have a second dark side trigger on the stack, which you is for seven. Side trigger on the stack. Yeah, I, I mean, second dark side and the dark side trigger on the stack for seven. 
And that's that is seven, right? It's two. Zach's four. Yep. Ryan's one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to go to my turn now. Seems true. Uh, odds hurt. I take three. I'd like to drop the turn. Okay. I will play Yavamaya Coast as land for the turn. Mm -hmm. I would like to tap two and a life. Cast Cyclonic Rift small version on Ether Swarm Cannonist. With one color was floating. Votes to Ryan. Cast priority on like Bouncing that. Cannonist. Uh cards in hand folder? Currently, I believe four. Yeah, four. If one color is floating is one, two, three, four, five, eleven mana total. If you counter this spell, he has nothing he can do. Yep, that's it for the. I cannot True counter story. spell, but I can interact with the creature. But that being said. He still doesn't technically have infinite. But there's obviously he's a reason he's doing it right now. Yeah, there is. Like he could permit druid, haste it, win, or something else, you know? Yeah, even if I even if I bounce Kenrith though, or get rid of Kenrith, like he can still yeah. do all of that. So I don't know so what this does. So countering this would probably be the best thing. I have to pass priority. I also have to pass priority. Uh, resolves bouncing the small, the little 2-2, two -two, either one cannon is to hand. I have a colorless floating. With my colorless and a black, I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. That I tutored uh, up on turn one. I'll pass priority. Pass priority. I am going to. Oh, what a bummer, dude! Activate Survival of the Fittest, and I'm going to discard Ether Swarm Cannonist. Uh, open mana after that. I have three mana. That's annoying. Considering I know what you're going to grab here. <laughs> I think we all know what he's. Grabbing. I think I'm about to cast an impulse. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm about to impulse. Grabbing an Avon Mind Sensor. Yep. And Folger, I'm going to exile the land that you have in your graveyard. Um. I stop this. Uh, is that your only three mana is through, what you call it though, right? Um, Correct. The Bloom Tender is summoning sick. Yeah. I stop. Open, I have no floating 10. So I activated the uh, Death Rite Shaman exiling the land from your graveyard there, Folger. I, 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 that's on the stack, sorry. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking about, if I can stop that to just stop the mana, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I cannot, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, that happens, Misty gets exiled. So... Okay. And then I'm... Oh, no, no, sorry, but back it up. What'd you do exactly? Alright, he activated Survival of the Fittest. Yeah. Pitched either Swan Cannonist. Grabbed Aven Mind Sensor. Okay. And now I pass priority again on Demonic Tutor, which I'm assuming now that everyone has revealed information, he has an Aven Mind Sensor. He's about to cast Aven Mind Sensor. Yeah, I pass priority on Demonic Tutor. Yeah. So Aven Mind Sensor goes onto the stack. Um, I will pass priority on Aven Mind Sensor. Pass priority. Uh, I'm going to Vampiric Tutor in response. That's fine. I have no responses to Vampiric Tutor. Resolves. Okay. Never in the top half. 
what she said. All right, I'll get this card here. Let me make sure it is. Okay, there it is. What that means exactly? Never <laughs> oh, you know what it means. <laughs> Back to no. Avon Sensor. I have nothing for Avon Mind Sensor. Uh, so, uh, even mind sensor back on the stack. Um. So even on the stack still, pay a life for black and I'll cast into him. So Avon mines are still on stack, correct? Yeah. Yep. Uh, no response. <clears throat> Pass priority on Entomb. I'm also passing priority on Entomb. Entomb is going to resolve. I'm going to put a hermit druid into my graveyard. I think. Or I could I could do the Folger play or they'll go for the go for a play. Mm. You do you boo. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I gotta do it this way. I'll put a hermit druid into my graveyard. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, even mind sensor on the stack, I will pass priority. Pass priority. Pass priority. Even mind sensor enters the battlefield. Okay. Uh, okay. Demonic tutor on the stack. I pass priority. Pass priority. Pass. I would like to end forward. Hey, at least you're going to get a card. A sorcery speed. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, pretty bad, though. All these cards kind of suck. But. <laughs> I will put. I think that card. Yeah, I'll put that card into my hand. I got a bottom one again. I shuffle. Um, okay, I have put a Demonic Tutor card into my hand. Totally the one I wanted. I'm going to pay two mana, plus an additional three, going to four treasures, to activate Kinrith to reanimate Hermit Druid. Did you tap your Forbidden Orchard? I did. Uh, Zach, you can have a 1-1. One -one. Yay! Okay, so I... Do you have a response to the activated ability? All right, activated ability of Penrith on the stack. Okay, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to attempt to cast Frantic Search, basically. I will, yeah, exactly a priority on Frantic Search. Pass. No response for me. Okay. Ah, uh, you have Frantic search. search. That's not worth it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maybe that's not horrible. Ryan's gone into the tank. I know. I don't mean to. 
but I think this is what I mean, I'm going to. These are big decisions. Draw two. Yeah, I'm going to draw two and discard two. I'm going to discard a Time Twister and a Thassa's Oracle. I can yeah. tap three lands. You get to untap three. No? Ghost trick. Twister and Thoracle enter the graveyard. Sus. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So then you have priority on the activation of Kenrith to reanimate Hermithrude. Okay, so... I'm going to activate Deathrite Shaman. First of the I'm going to exile Bloodstained Mire from my graveyard. Any responses to that? No. Nope. I'm going to add a black to my pool. Uh, and another black and three. Attempt to cast Ad Nauseam. Oh, this Ooh. guy. Oh, snaps. This That's guy. priority on Ad Nauseam. I mean, for what it's worth, you could have used your death right to exile. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, just saw that now, and I was like, ah, sure. <laughs> that, yeah. I mean, this is this is the, the bigger balls yeah. play, so... This is the <laughs> this is the massive cojones play. This is, this is the balls growing in size. Hold on. Is it, oh, never mind. Yeah. Um, so you have Ad Nauseam on the stack? Yeah. You have priority, priority on Ad Nauseam there, dude. I pass priority. I'm also passing priority. Um, I will also pass priority on Ad Nauseam. Righteous. Here we go. Red Elemental Blast. Demonic Consultation. Tainted Pact. Oh my gosh. Island. Birds of Paradise. Talisman of Indulgence. Misty Rainforest. Bayou. Morphic Pool. Polluted Delta. Song of Creation. Oof. Oh, you meatball. Right. <laughs> Arcane Signet. Lotus Bloom. Burnet Catacombs. Swan Song. Gemstone Caverns. Blooded Strand, Man Tower, Dockside Extortionist, Emrakul, City of Brass, Dark Ritual, Soul Ring, uh, Tropical Island, Mystical Tutor, Chromot, Wooded Willow, Demonic Tutor, Underground City, Gamble, Metamorphose, You running peer into the abyss? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of scared of it. Is why the ball swell even so. larger. <laughs> be bold. Be brave. Behold the ungodly. <laughs> oh, that's exactly. Oh, yeah, but yeah, that song of creation. That was the secret tech there. <laughs> All right. Um, you've been you've been talking about that card for a while now. I love it. It's so good. It's good. Mm -hmm. anyway, good. I digress. All right. Uh, gosh, you know, bummer. All right. So I think I'm going to stop there. Really an yeah, I know. So, so he's going to hermit druid, and we're going to straight up lose, fellas. Correct. Um, I think you probably should have stopped with death right. So. Hermit Druid, what do you mean? I'm sorry, what did you say? What do you yeah, mean? Hermit Druid has abilities that are not just mana. And I would, I, I, if I had, if you I had mean caught Death Rite Shaman? Yeah, sorry. Oh, Death Rite Shaman, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, sorry. I, 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 I didn't really, I, I, I thought, I thought, I don't know how I missed that yours was untapped when I went for it, but that'd be how it'd be. Say lobby. Was your Taiga untapped before the Frantic Search? No, it wasn't. Uh, well, uh, no, but Backlands was tapped before the Frantic Search. I tapped through, yeah. but then I untapped. No, it, it was it was just my bad. It was, okay. uh... Activation right, back so guys, on the stack. Activation um, back on Kenrith. the stack. What should we do to... like? You can get rid of Kenrith. Have... You can't give it haste. True statement. But, yeah, but can he just... Re... Uh, how many treasures? You got? He's got I have four. four. Do you have, do you have four. any mana floating? I have zero floating. Okay. And you played your land for so, that, so, I, right, so basically, all right. 
So here's here's what we got right now. I've got basically one spell that I you think have a swan I can... song. Uh, yeah, but that's not against activated abilities. I also pulled her REB earlier, but yeah. Um... You have nothing to Maybe interact with. Out. I do, it not... but it's oh, that's that's the thing. I do have a spell that can interact with Kenra. But we have a problem, I guess. Yeah, you win if you untap. No, that's not the problem. <laughs> the There's problem two very is... problems. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here's here's the thing. Um, so, gosh. Uh, just didn't pull what I wanted to pull. But I do have one thing. Kenrith, Devation on the stack he's going to pull that back he all right so we have to so basically all right let me tell you guys what i've got all right but we have a problem i have a chain of vapor ah oh. yeah but that's, that's the problem that's the problem that doesn't work. Yeah, is that a problem? The problem is, uh, because he, he can he, bounce other things with the, by sacking lands to continue his chain. He bounce dockside, play dockside, go up to uh, nine treasures, and that's enough to for to recast it. And, you see what I'm saying? So this is the problem. Basically, if I if we can chain some of our artifacts away he won't get enough treasures to win. But that requires some commitment from the table. Seems fair. Uh, the choice is losing outright. Yeah, the choice is either to lose or to set us back on the artifacts return. Does that make sense to everybody? I don't like it because then you're, you're setting yourself up really well to win. Them's the brakes. Ugh. I don't know if there's a way for Cobblepot not to even win this game in this position. I got a chain of vapor. I'll bounce my mana vault and I'll sack it, copy the chain, and start targeting and, and target one of your artifacts, Zach. So I'll be in on it too, is what I'm saying. Uh, don't listen to that. That's just value for Ryan, first of all. That's. No. <laughs> it's basically guys unless you guys got something else this is it this i is mean it. yes so um, I mean, this is for sure the play I, well, I the, the, pro the problem is, is right is that we deal with folger and then ryan untaps and wins so basically so, you can I, yeah this, so i guess you're deciding you would you point? rather would you rather have me win or would you rather have folger no, yeah win? it's king it's king making right I'm, I'm, it's not King Mickey. I'm going to try to stop him from winning. Of course, I'm trying I mean, to win. Yeah, I was going to so. say, what do you mean? Like, it's not King Mickey. You're just trying to I, stop. It's not King Mickey for me, but. Sure. Okay. How about instead of sacking a bunch of lands to bounce artifacts? It's just all bad. Because I can. It's only, let me put it this way it's all upside for Ryan. <laughs> Exactly. It is. Like, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in a good seat. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to deny that I'm in a good seat. But it's either lose right this second or try to see if you can find a way to stop me. Uh, you could bounce his Yidris with one of them to force him to sack another land. This could be the most insane, like, planar, uh, what is it, Decree of Annihilation for one blue at instant speed really fast. That is yeah. a that is a possibility. I mean, this is like this might be a one. This might be yeah. This might be a planar cleansing. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's so. it, it, it's definitely pop. It'd be decree because lands are coming with it. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's okay, kind so... of the thing. Criminy, Jiminy crickets. I'll do it if you don't bounce my arcane signet. I mean, I'm not going to have a choice over the whole matter. You know what I mean? Once it's out of my hands, unless it gets bounced back to me. But I you will can, target the first chain to be one of your tap lands. I can absolutely do that. Okay. Um, yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. All right, I'm going to... 
attempt. Oh, before before you have Cobblepot, do you have any input on okay. this? Um, I think that trying to remember what cards were revealed that are in Ryan's hand. Um, got... Relevant things are he's got double, he's got Tainted Pact, Demonic Consultation, Son of Creation, a crap, ton of, a crap ton of Fast Mana, and Rituals. So he, he's got it if he untaps, I would assume. If I untap, I do have it. You see, I, or at least I can, You from the revealed information, you can pretty much determine assume. that I probably got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all bad. If we stop Folger here, we're relying on Cobblepot and Folger to have no, like some interaction for Ryan. It's rough. I'm going to try it. All right. We're going to see what happens. All right. Okay? I'm going to tap my snow-covered island. I'm going to attempt to cast Chain of Vapor. Target. Targeting my own mana vault. Yep. Pass priority. Passing priority. I will also pass priority. Chain of Vapor resolves. I will bounce Mana Bolt to my hand. I yep. will sacrifice my snow covered island. Yep. And I will, Zach, I will target your uh, Mox Opal for zero opportunity cost. Okay. So you uh, get to recast it for free. I, I pass priority on the, the copy. I'm also passing priority. Okay, I, I'm assuming we're all passing priorities on most copies. Okay. Just do a quick once over. Does okay. Like, all right, bounce. bounce. Would you like to sack a land to continue the chain? Or we have to make sure he. Four. Is that enough? We have to make sure he can't re recast his commander essentially because the last part of that chain has to be Kenra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or last part so, of our side of the chain has to be Kenry. We go to four. I should have done this math earlier. I sack target Kenrith. He sacks target Dockside two. He goes to six. That's enough. So I will sacrifice Badlands targeting my Felwar Stone. He has four yep. treasures, don't forget. Yes. So, so now it's one, two, three? Three, four. Where do you get four? Uh, he had two. one. Uh, I'm sorry. One, two, three. It's okay. three. I have two. I count three. One, that's one. And that, that's it? Am I missing yep. something? Okay. So if we're sitting at three, uh, three, two, two to cast Dockside, two goes to three. That puts them at five mana, which I don't think no, is no, enough. He can cast. He can if he bounces, if he targets his phantasmal image, it'll go to the graveyard immediately. Right. Um, what does that do for him? So, so he'll have to, so he'll have to target his dock side. And okay. I, I think we can stop here and just target Kenrith now, right? I mean, you can uh, target Idris and then force him to sack a land. Say, there's no reason to not. Con oh, like, this yeah. is why I'm saying. This is why my argument is that this is probably about to be decree of annihilation because oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah this is my favorite thing about chain where it's all the the you just you get free value force the other person yep, to bounce that's it. right so 100 percent so, legitimate right oh right oh in this case um i'm going to target second land here yep Target. Target something of cobbles. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, target that's his, what I'm thinking. Yeah, target something of cobbles. Make him sack too. Do you worry more about bloom tender mana or just survival? Well, it doesn't even matter. It's getting bounced. So uh, I'm going to target bloom tender. Oh, really? Not going to target his survival the fittest? Make him one less. I'm surprised by the choice, but... Why? This puts you off with three more mana on next turn? You really think that I'm going to have another turn? I mean, actually... <laughs> if, if it gets that far, I'm trying to I'm trying to plan for the best here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> None of this is good, okay? <laughs> and Ryan is, is correct that survival is a better target. Okay. 
You can choose Bloom Tender if you want. Uh, I mean, I don't think it matters. I have a feeling most of it's going to get bounced. Well, explain to me why survival's a better target versus your Bloom Tender attached for three. Uh, survival can get literally any creature, and it puts full draw with more treasures. Okay, uh, the treasure, the treasure, the treasure thing almost does not matter at this point. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just target survival. Fine, let's do it. Okay. okay. So survival comes back to my hand. Yep. Zach. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Bane goes at Idris. Okay. Bane, target, target is Idris. on Idris. I'm going to bounce Idris, sack a land. Yep. I'm going to target Kenrith, the Return King. Oh, he's trying to stop it. Um, wouldn't it be nice if I just had Red Blast after all this? Got there. <laughs> That'd feel so good. Um, I honestly think I'm super okay with this. So, yeah. Um, Shane will bounce Kenneth kind of to my hand, or do I want to do something with him first? I have four mana to play with. Uh, yeah, uh, no response. Kind of bounces to my hand. I don't think I want to keep going, though. I could. I'm, I'm low-key salty splatooning a little bit over that, that bounce. I think I, I think I win if you bounce Bloom Tender. Funny. I think it did. Yeah, I'm one off. Unforge. Right? Or maybe I one. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It bounced Bloom Tender, I was still in here. Awkward. Cause it's oh, it's only two right now, right? Not three. So my dock side doesn't net any. Uh it is two. Yes, it is two. Yep. Well, I still get there if Darkside nets one. You must have something else in your hand. Uh no. Not necessarily. Okay. Um So close. How am I this close and don't have it? Um so chain I I still have the chain on me. Anything I can do. Mm-hmm. You still have the chain, good sir. You can actually bounce Ryan's death right that takes him down by one. I I think I don't know if that's gonna matter is my concern. It has two lands. Yeah, that well yeah. Taking him down one more mana. But I think it just has all the fast mana. It's got a lot of fast mana in there, but yeah. if we know he's right. getting the next turn... Yeah, well, okay, he has a revealed Swan Slon and Red Blast in hand, so Correct. it won't matter, he'll just stop it. Yup, I will. So, I'm gonna take the chain, I'm gonna sacrifice my Yavimaya Coast and bounce my Mana Crypts to my hand. And um, I'm going to respond with that still on the stack. Okay, uh, targeting so crypt target on mana crypt, sacrificing yeah. coast target crypt. And to um, exile Sylvan Library, force of vigor targeting your mana crypt. And the is it signet that Zach has. With Song of Creation in hand, cobble you mad lad. <laughs> um, I know that he's got all of the counter magic. He so... has two. It is only has one that can hit that as well. It's only Swan Song. Two revealed. I uh so I'm sorry. Sorry, go ahead, Folder. Yeah, you're fine. Uh yeah. Right, I, I have I have no response. Alright. And that also takes the chain's uh, target away, which means it's going to fizzle. Correct. Um, 
Wow. I am fresh out of stuff then. So chain resolves. Uh, I have the reanimation of Hermit Druid now. It's still on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, reanimate. It's still there. Oh yeah, that still was this game. Priority on the reanimation. Yeah. Hermit Druid. <laughs> oh my god. I will pass the turn after that. Chain's in the grave. Chain resolve. Boy, that was something else, folks. Okay. Um, any in-step actions? Not that uh, I'm aware of. No. Nope. Take that as a no. All right. Move to untaps. Actually, do I have an in-step action, come to think of it? Nah. Move to my turn. Untap up, keep draw. Surprise, Fulcher didn't just off a strike, Ryan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three, four, five, six. Draw, put him to three. Um, could I have actually killed Ryan? I would have been mm. one off. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I would have been one damage spicy. short. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Right. I wonder if there's a way I could have finagled it. I don't think gotta, so. No. I gotta do this. I gotta do a quick maths here. This into this into this into this. Uh, five. How are you finding one damage off? We have three, four, five, six. And then I'd have four mana left, so I could have put two counters for Kenra, which would have been eight. Yeah, but he, he has a spirit to block. I didn't see that. Yeah. Uh, so then I would have been two damage away. Yeah. Okay. This game's complicated. It sure is, isn't it? Magic the Gathering. All right. Got to love it. Got to love it. I'm gonna play a land for turn. It's going to be an underground sea. I'm gonna to attempt to cast Chrome Mox. Uh, pass priority. Passing priority. Imprint trigger. Any responses? Um, no responses to that. No. no. Imprint Notion Thief. Out there, boys. Pick that Notion Thief. All right. I want your wheels around here. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, someone pass, right. pass pull from Eternity. Got him. All right. Um, and so Kenrith is in your hand, Folger, correct? That is correct. Uh... Fortunately for you, can't make you draw a card like I usually do. I was about to say, gotta play that super careful. That death shaman. Death right shaman, uh, targeting snow covered island in my graveyard. In the response, I'm gonna cast Memory's Journey. That card, man. I I keep drawing it, and it like I'm like this is so dead, and then it like does something semi relevant. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cast Memory's Journey, target whatever land you just targeted. Uh, okay. And uh, what else is in your graveyard? Any other dead cards? Any other lands, actually? Uh, Taiga. Yeah, target Taiga. Uh, it can be up to three, if that helps. Yeah, I think I'll just Thassa's do... Oracle, Ad Nauseam, Time Twister, Frantic Search, Imperial Seal. I think I'll target Thassa's Oracle as well, actually. Yeah. Thassa's Oracle... Yeah. Um, actually, hold on. I don't think okay. I can actually target Thassa's Oracle here. 
You have what? One, what two, it? three, four mana? Yeah. Um. No, okay. Just the two lands, then. Two lands. Yeah, just the two lands with Memory's Journey. Target, you put those, shuffle those back in. So, so what's your reasoning for not targeting Thassa's Oracle, then? He has double consultation in hand. Oh, true, dude. Well, he needs another mana. I forget exactly I mean, what other fast mana. I'm PCs pretty do. sure there's a Dark Ritual in his hand. I'm fairly confident. Yeah, there is. So I can't actually target Oracle without giving him the game. Yeah. So I'll, I'll target the two lands with Memory's Journey. It's a good spot. Good spot. Two lands with Memory's Journey, one of which is that... Um, to deny the death right mana. To deny the death right mana. Phyrexian Walker, all of Death Right Shaman's abilities uh, can be responded to. Yes, they can. Yeah. It's so not it's, a mana it's, ability. It's not technically people. not a mana ability. You just end up it's with not. a mana after the yeah. the, the payment. Right. Because because the exile of the land isn't part of the payment, uh, I can respond to it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. More right. you know. Um the more you know. Yes. You know. Yeah, Death Ray Shaman is amazing, by the way. Like, What's the best Planeswalker ever printed? Death Ray Shaman. Shaman. One minute. Death, Death Ray Shaman. Yep. Uh, no response. All right. Uh, I'm going to put the two, two lands on top of my library. Uh, Death Ray Shaman's ability will fizzle because the first part of it fizzled. Yeah. No valid. They, they technically shuffle into the library. They I was going to say, they, they shuffle oh, in. My apologies. by the letter of the law here. Yes, we do. Correct, sir. Not friendly magic. <laughs> this, this is cutthroat magic. Yeah. Magic of death. The magic of death. All right. <sighs> Tap. Badlands. Uh, Into the abyss. Yeah, right. Lose half my life? That'd be so slick. Dude, I've done Peer into the Best plenty of times after resolving an Oz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll draw I'll I'll draw thirty more cards. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> seems really good. <laughs> that's actually that's pretty legit actually. Uh Mana Bald, I'm guessing resolves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I really I really hope you've been sandbagging this two mana because like we need it. <laughs> Dark ritual. Pass priority. Uh, priority. Yep. Yuppers. Three black. It is a peer. He's coming. Oh. Off the top rope. Put the peer into the abyss. <laughs> How'd you guys know? RK peer into the abyss out of nowhere. Uh, tap for three colorless. Use one of it. For a soul ring. Yep. Uh, that's pure into the abyss mana. Seems like. What's are we coming? Getting there? Are we gonna? Are we gonna get peered into the abyss? Oh, can we I get would, there? I would bet against it that you don't have it in your hand. Would be my would be my bet. Oh. Yep. Say. So I'll tap for two. I'll go up to four. That's pure into the abyss mana right there. Player. Yeah, the fact right he hasn't there. explained it yet makes me think he doesn't have it. <laughs> well, right there. one of the reasons he stopped his ad nauseum to, was to not hit Peer and die. So Yeah, to not True. hit Peer. There, there I mean, was he that. You could have drawn it, but odds are pretty low. Yippers. Arcane Sickness. The value. Pass priority. Passing priority from here. Yuppers. Talisman of Intelligence. Yep. Are you supposed to do all of this stuff after you cast your um... Song of Creation? That's what yeah. I was assuming was going to happen. So I'm. Uh... There's a there's a thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. So. I, I I'm... didn't see a Mind's Desire in there. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, Mind's Desire, sweet. <laughs> yeah. 
Back in the day when we did storm and used to use high tide mines, desire was the only <laughs> way to pass your deck. <laughs> Fifteen cards uphill both ways. It used to be dragon storm instead of minus desire. Thank you. Courage, Underworld like breach. Breach. Underworld breach. It's a big yikes for me, dog. Ah, uh, with what floating? Uh, black. Colorless, and these three artifacts are currently untapped. Three. Oh, the chroma. Uh, how right. do you have a colorless floating? Uh, soul ring. Yeah, I thought you tapped mana vault for soul ring and then played double signet. I tapped soul ring. Use black mana for the. I use black mana for some of it. I had a dark red as well. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. I pass priority on underworld breach. I also passing priority on your underworld breach. <laughs> Um, I mean, yes, this is what it's come to. It is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Memories Journey again with flashback. Target. Doing so much I work. don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need a new video. Uh, new video target, incoming. I was gonna say why Memories Journey is the best card in CDH. Uh, target yeah, Dark thing. Ritual, Thassa's Oracle, and Chain of Vapor. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt to cast Red Elemental Blast, paying a damage from Talisman of Indulgence. No! Zach, this is your moment. Target. Zach, please. Uh, please you know who the Zach. target is. I, I pass priority. Passing priority here. No! It was please, come on, the two waiting flies! Yeah, do it I... now! Hurry! <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, it, it gets countered. It's... Still exiled. Countered exile. No. Underworld breach back on the stack. You have That's how much right now? Four. I have oh. one, two, three, four. So exact mana. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's a tragedy, man. I will. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That's. Um, well, cards in hand, Ryan. I guess. A bunch. <laughs> I I figured. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I can stop. But this fizzles if we can force him to do another counter spell. I, I. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't see how we can force him to counter anything. I like do not bouncing, have bouncing a rock doesn't do anything. Is the, the annoying thing? All right, Zach. You have to have something. You've been sitting on. You specifically left the arcane signet untapped. You have priority on underworld breach. I don't have anything. Oh, I pass priority. <laughs> I mean, I guess cobble. Yeah, I'll pass priority on Underworld Breach then. Underworld Breach resolves. Um, I'm going to attempt to cast Thassa's Oracle. Tapping Arcane Signet and Chrome Mox for double blue. Escaping three. I'm going to. Escape. I'm Twister. Uh, Imperial Seal. So, Zach, there is no later time than now. I don't have anything. <laughs> you say that. I cannot interact with the stack. Unfortunately. That's real bad for us. So... I have to pass priority. I'm also passing priority. <laughs> we'll pass priority on Thassa's Oracle. Trigger on stack. Yeah. I'm going to respond to the trigger. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to cast Painted Pact. Pass priority. Passing priority. Okay, Zach, what do you have if you can't interact with the stack? Psych Yeah. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't happen to have a uh, Noxious Revival over there, Cobble, would you? I don't. I used it earlier. That yep. was this game, wasn't it? It was earlier think, this game. I think them's the oh, breaks. I only, have a I only have Chain of Vapor, so I'll pass priority on Painted Pact. Painted Pact? Okay. Yep. I'm going to put the last card into my hand. It's an Assassin's Trophy. Nice. We've been assassinated. Uh, 
Thassa's Oracle trigger on the stack. Uh, Zach, that Cyclonic Rift, you could have cast while the Memories Journey was on the stack. Uh, to do what? For mine. Well, what, what could I have targeted? Underworld Breach. Uh, it was, uh, it was still on the stack, stack wasn't it? I was it? Like, Breach was because still on the stack. Yeah, under, Breach was still on the stack. He, uh, he cast that in response. I did the flashback of Memory's Journey. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, never mind then. Yeah, yeah I, don't, were, I, I don't think there was a window. Or... No. Even, even yeah, so, if, like, it, Breach resolves, there's still never a window. There's never a window before we can interact with Oracle. Correct. Yeah, that's right. It's, we just, I only we, needed one from the graveyard. It's super unlucky though, Zach, that both both of us didn't have a stack interaction. We both had interaction, just not stack wise. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. I think we stop them if we have that. But yeah, that's game. Game. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. I tutored a good game, gentlemen. Good game. Good game. Indeed. Oh, what what a what a what an amazing game that was! I can't tell you. How great that was! Oh, With the, it was the it was the chain of vapor that really was it for me. I, I absolutely loved that. Uh, Zach, really for what it's worth, that. what's up? Um, you you were right to go for the the bloom tender. Um, I had an eldritch evolution and a freed from real. I had yeah. kill you, small. <laughs> so kill technically, me. bloom tender is the better play, which is why. When you bounce oh. the uh, the thing, so okay, if you don't bounce that there, I can bounce my dockside, recast dockside net one, mana crypt it, and mm -hmm. then I can go Kenrith haste. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. So oh, I I was lying to you in order to get you to target the survival of the fittest instead of the bloom tender, so that when my turn came around, I would be able to eldritch into grand abolisher, and with grand. Yeah. Abolisher, oh. said Target. I'm like, oh right. If I don't, if I just bounce the Bloom Tender, then it gives you a creature for survival. And I'm like, oh, obviously that's bad in my head. Uh, I should have just gone on my gut. Desperately needed that Bloom Tender to be able to win on my turn. So, but yeah, uh, yeah that Bloom Tender to win on his turn. But wouldn't that have just handed the game to Folger? No, you still had Swan. Oh, what not? Uh, I you? mean, you you still had uh, Swan Swan at your instep. You still had one open to cast Swan Swan for my Dread Return. So, the, the, I could, I would still, and then I would just win at my next upkeep, which would be after Cobble and after you won on your turn. So, ah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, those were some great games. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's it like a two hour game. So, it was good. There was some, some, some complex lines going there and that was i mean even though they they both ended just with you know, your usual fish combo um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, there were some thonkers in there for sure a lot of, of good Folger, i believe his activated ability with the stack was about 45 minutes long yeah <laughs> also can no, we talk about so memory's journey the secret op card yes good like, lord how many times i i, I, I drew it twice and every single time it was like a relevant interaction for underworld breach oh. or like docs or death right like it just did work so oh, it really it's did actually I, very good against all of our decks too yeah, yeah it's, it's good against reanimator it's good against like some kind of just so like there is a, uh, there's a question that is out on the so there, there's a question that, that's on the chat. Um, was there any other blue permanent on the battlefield for Ryan? Uh, no. Uh, there was there no not. Good artifacts. Yeah. Artifacts. We could have bounced, bounced, we e could have bounced Oracle, yep. but then zero is still equal to zero. Correct. Right. That's yeah. why I was asking if you had revival, because if you put one card back, then. Yeah. That's right. But then we can. Then I could have chained it, or Zach could have ripped it. Oh, yeah. gentlemen, what Good a games. fantastic set of games tonight! Uh, we are going to go ahead and call it uh, for that tonight. So thank you, everyone, again for watching. Um, Cobble, uh, thank you very much again for joining. Would you like to uh, give a shout out to any individual thing before we wrap it up for the evening? Oh, I just say, you know, um, I say a lot of weird things on Twitter and every once in a while I do some writing and I am looking forward to the collaboration that we have that's in the works to uh, do a little bit of teaching about um, 
what makes CEDH good and how to make people better able to evaluate things on their own. Yeah. I'm looking awesome. forward. Well, awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. And with that, we are going to go ahead and say good night for the evening. So thanks again. Thanks for joining. Uh, and good night to all. Appreciate it. Good night. Good evening. Yep. See you guys. Bye. Come on.